Oh, snap, it's Mac Roberts, streaming a second day in a row. I'm not streaming New World this time, I'm streaming some 2K21. What's going on, everyone? Completing the meaner rhyme. But yeah, I'm running with the subs today. So anybody wants to join, just let me know and, and we'll run it. We'll all the way run it. Let's get it. Good, Scotty Pippen. Don't stand too close to you, Mystery. Where where are you? I didn't. Are, are you in the park? <laughs> you know you're not in the park. You're not allowed. Stop it. Let me actually see all my friends who's online. Your PS5 controller is better than mine? I mean, I have the default PS5 controller, so like, unless your PS5 controller's got some extra functions, I mean, fair. That is wholeheartedly fair, Mystery. I, I I'm not even gonna fight with you on that. Uh, yeah, let me know if anybody wants to join. I'm on PlayStation, so let me know. The gaming monster was good. Let me actually run. I'm gonna go squat with some of my friends. I'm not gonna watch them. That's there. Uh, need for right at this park right here. Still probably gonna have to buy a new one by 2K22. Yo, so the fact that I had to buy legit a second one during the run of 2K21, like midway through because of Cyberpunk 2077 was absurd. Like, I'm pretty sure they fixed it because I really haven't dealt with a bunch of controller drift since then. But like, it's crazy. Oh, not to, yeah, but I'm saying like, during the run of 20, during the run of 2K21, I had my PS5 since, uh, when it dropped in what October November and by like March I needed a new controller because of cyberpunk Like certain games literally messed up controllers caused them to have controller drift Like, it's just absurd. Like, Sony, yo, we, we, we should have the right to fight Sony. Like, I want to fight Sony. I want to throw the hands with Sony because they are responsible for my controllers not working. Also, Project Red can get the hands. Treyarch can get the hands. Like, everybody can get the hands. Visual concepts, like, let's throw the hands, bro. Me and Ronnie, one-on-one, -on -one, book it. I look a little blurry. Hold on. Alright. I got a play shot. I got two play shots and, and me versus. Oh, okay. Great. Two play shots and a paint beast. Let's see how this goes. 
Hey, Mystery, tell me why I almost bought another uh, another monitor, bro. Also, for those that are into that, I'm planning on doing the 2010 redraft. He's lucky he greened that. I would have fought him. Wouldn't that make it six? No, that would make it five. But I'm thinking about selling one of my monitors. And then just uh, getting a better monitor. Good switch. I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, bro, what? I was gonna say, I wish they would not give us that after like that bullshit block. Two K doesn't want me to be great. Clearly, does not want me to be great. I'm not gonna set any screens for him because clearly he just wants the ISO. Well, come, come on, cuh. Why would you pass that way? Like it didn't make sense. Like I didn't understand it. I'm pretty sure my teammate didn't understand it. Uh, I don't, I don't know what my team I, 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 don't, I don't know my team I, I, like look bro I set you a screen like look bro I set you a screen give me that 2k for real for real for real for real let's talk about it like that's that's so dummy boy oh good still How do we mess that up? I need to talk to the proper authority to figure out how we mess that one up. So so just just fuck defense at this point. Just absolutely fuck defense. He's wide open. Why did you pop that, bro? Come on. Like this team is high key not good. And that's what's upsetting to me. Were you just sitting there waiting on the wing? Were you just sitting there waiting on the wing? <sighs> He's gonna drive in all the way. Oh, he reached in. Uh, stress. All I know is stress. Good shot. Well, straight, just straight curry slided. Just straight curry slided. What's good with you, Drippy? I was about to say, you better give me that one now, because that was, that was trash. Me and my homie want to run with you. Let yo, send me an invite.
what did we learn? <laughs> I just have to make this face because, like, that is so disappointing. Like, so I'm trying to toss it back. I just caught, I caught an animation. But yeah, um, I'm on my. This is a 6 10, 6 11 uh, glass candy finisher. Just pop it. Oh, I see. It wouldn't have gone in anyway. What is it? Did people just call you 86 now? Is that what it is? People just call you 86 now? Is that what it is? 8600K? 8600K? I mean, that was tough. We couldn't do anything about that. Like what's crazy about it is I know exactly what he's he's trying to do. It's just like honestly, if he really wanted that, he should have used the he should have had he should have passed to his man's. That's off. I can't. I can't. I'm not even in a position to get it. Like he should let he should let CPU take that. Like I'm coming up for your screen and and like therefore I can't help get the rebound. It's, that's that common sense right there. That's that common sense right there. Like if I'm passing to you, like if I pass to the CPU and I'm boxing out, I can get the rebound. I'm in position to grab the board. If you pass to yourself, I'm no longer in position because you are now a player. I'm going to set you a screen because you have a man on you. The coming, coming through with the with the player logic. Come on, cuz. All right, send me, uh, send me an invite. There you are. Is my music too loud, guys? Is my music too loud, guys? I hope the 2K22 Pi Player Builder. I hope the Pi Player Builder isn't disappointing either. The Pi Player Builder was actually trash. The Pi Player Builder was actually trash. Where's your third at? Um, let me actually switch over one second. Second, I have no clue where my headphones are. Here it goes. Here 
my fault. I just didn't really look for that. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I didn't mute him. My bad. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Okay, cool. Uh, with the mellow jersey on? Yeah. Just call him Mr. Mac Robert. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can an Xbox player play on Park with a PS4? No. Everybody it's, should know that. 2K's never cross play. It's not cross play. It's not cross gen. It's just... You play with the version you have. That's it. Which is, again, like, in the year 2021, it's, it's so stupid. Like, it's so backwards. Like, I feel like the player base would be so much larger also if you could crossplay. We can, we, can, we can start a game down here. Uh, it's a need, need six. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. These have headphones on it? No. Oh, they do. So actually gonna do then is because those has those headphones are like big and bulky and aesthetically I'm not very pleased with them like with the extra microphone and shit all right you guys can still hear me fine right cool What do you, what's your other two builds? Oh, why didn't you run that sla uh, play slash? Oh, yeah, cuz. Yeah, you got a, a two way finisher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Lakers trade. Um, oof. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna make that work. Yeah. I don't know how they're gonna make that work. Like Anthony Davis may well be the like best Anthony three point shooter of the big three. And you just gotta sit there like, oof. Big yikes. Logo LeBron. Um yeah, 86, it was, um, no, you can't, it's not cross-gen, but, uh, Moby for the Raptors, I thought that, yo, I think that everybody thought that Suggs was going to go to the Raptors, including the ESPN crew, and when they picked up Scotty Barnes, I was like, all right. Like, I like Scotty. Well, honestly, I thought that Scotty Barnes was going to... Well, he did do a lot of, like, moving up after the uh, after, after the workouts. Oh, yeah, Corey next to us. Um, but he... I didn't think that he was going to go as, far, as high as, like, to the Raptors. I thought that either he was going to go four to the Magic or he was going to drop to the Warriors and they were going to get a Draymond Green 2.0. Um, but Toronto was like, here, I don't want shooting. I don't need a point guard. Kyle Lowry, I've never heard of him. Yeah, I like the Warriors. The Warriors actually might have had my favorite draft 
in this draft. Um, I was gonna say I picked up one second. Let me double check. Let me double check because I know they had two picks. Um, I wanted the Spurs to pick up. One sec. Sorry, I'm still looking up the draft because I just I saw the draft. Obviously, I watched the draft, but like actually like remember on the picks off the top of my head um this like the spurs draft pick he was a solid pick but i thought that honestly i thought they were, they were gonna get Corey kispert um like a just a shooter to help out that can play some defense but um let me see also, side note, the Sharif Cooper pick was really fucking good. Um, like, I didn't think that he was going to fall to the fourth round. I mean, the second round. But they already have a point guard. They have Cole Anthony. No, Suggs is a, Suggs is a point guard. He's a, he's a point guard, but then you still have Markel. Yo, it, yo, it goes in, it goes in, it goes in. Oof. That's who they picked up. They picked up Kaminga and Moody. That's I was like, I knew they picked up somebody that I really like. Jonathan Kaminga is actually really solid for them as, uh, as a pick. I'm not sure if they feel like they've given up on the James Wiseman. Uh, Project yet? That why why'd you get flashy with it? There was no need for that. Good shot. Oof. Yeah, straight, straight. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta slow. I think we're just also like really trying to rush it. What was that pass? Like, I, I, it wasn't even like I was a jump pass or anything. You literally jumped up to pass that. Like, what are you, what are you doing, 2K? Like, what are you, what are you doing, 2K? I'm gonna set you a screen. Cause, cause big man is, big man is posted in the paint. He's not helping out. So what you can do is you have all the threes in the world. That's basically what's gonna happen. You have all the, the three space in the world because he's not gonna help. He's not gonna switch over to help. That's good. Oh, he was going. He's yeah. Good finish. Sucks that he had a bad workout with the Raptors. Um, have you seen Jalen Green's knock? Yeah, I, I I watched a lot of I actually watched in real time a lot of the Ignite games, so I knew about Jonathan Kaminga and I also knew about Jalen Suggs. I mean uh, Jalen Green, but um, yeah, it was just it was very unfortunate for the Raptors to not pick up a point guard. Like they really needed to go point guard in this draft. Styling, they just the straight style all the way. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to play in a few? Uh, sure. What build are you running? Let me go out. Yeah, just pass out. Pass out. I'm gonna set you a screen. I'm gonna set you a screen.
Good shot. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your release, your release a little too fast. I live with it. Oof, good finish. Uh, no, it does exactly the opposite. Uh, no, it does exactly. <laughs> but I, I think that slithery finisher is better personally than pro touch and consistent finisher. Uh, I think Barnes is a, Barnes is a Barnes is a like a point forward almost. Um, like he's he's six. He measured in like six seven six eight, but he's really like. Oh, oh, you good? You good? Yeah. I thought that I thought that uh, Cloud Kage was gonna come around just for the easy. Cause I was looking for the lob actually. Yeah. Cause I had him on the back down. It was just been a straight easy lob. Uh, I'll call out next time. Don't worry. Yo, if they, if we come back on them, that's actually gonna be sad. Wow! 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 Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> that's off. What even was that animation? <laughs> wow. Like it was like it was crazy was it was a straight contact duck animation. There was nothing I could do about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need yo, we need to shoot you shoot just shooting can get can 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 do some numbers. Like we just need just just a floor spacing. The two way finisher is solid, but you need like a like a play shot or something like that. I agree. I'm, but as far as like the shooting goes, like the shoot the three the three shot the three ball. Yeah, like so like something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, I remember how broken two-way slashing playmakers were in 2K21. Or 2K20. Like, legitimately broken. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, we're going to do a rotation. Um... Because another one of my viewers named Dan, he was actually asking me yesterday. He was like, yo, when are you popping up? He pressed me and everything. I was like, yo, relax. I'm going to play some. But, um, yeah, we'll run some, uh, like, in a rotation, like a four-man rotation. Yeah. We can also run twos. I'm also, yo, give me a shooter. Let's do it. It's y'all two against, yo, you two against me and Lame Dan. Lame Dan, what's your, what's your uh, PSN? Okay, is this you freeborn tree? Four? I 
All right, then I'm gonna send an invite to everybody in the party. I'm gonna actually add them in as well. It's a whole big game party, game chat party. Uh, he said he's a shooting guard. That means that whoever's inside about to be food. That's 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 translation. Whoever's inside about to be food. Cause I'm gonna eat them up. Cause we running twos. We running twos. Oh, that sounds that sounds like a you problem. You have to figure that out. <laughs> Honestly, so we can run. We can run the twos. Uh, I can leave this court because there's usually a free twos court open. I thought about it, then I'm like, if there's a free court though, we can all get the rep. Cause VC is not free. <laughs> uh, I actually didn't play, I didn't pay a lot of money on this game. I play, I paid my original $100 for the ultimate, I mean the, uh, the legend edition. And that was basically, I think maybe, maybe play like $20. That was it. Yeah, here's a, here's a need here's a need for right here. So I'm gonna invite everybody to the court. Oh, you don't have a mic, so we don't even need to add to the party. You just get to enjoy the commentary then. Oh, I didn't mean to join his neighborhood. Wow, I meant to invite him to mine. So wait, 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 that's fine. If you're joining me, then I'll just join your neighborhood. Because it'll be the same neighborhood. I'll check my phone before I make the move, make the jump. Yeah, okay. You're not in my neighborhood, so. Cool. Um. No VC. And it would be straight diss track to Ronnie and and, uh, and the Mike Wang, like N NWA style. You have to go to eat the beef though. Like it'll it'll be a no Vaseline style like beef, uh, be a diss track, but it's going to be to the eat the beef because the eat the beef is a classic. Fair enough. I'm gonna, yo, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have just the clips, or I can go back to back style and just have like the clips of him talking about in 2K17. Yeah, we're gonna get Yeezys in, in 2K17 or Underwater Park and be like, you, you a liar, you a scammer. All right. Ronald is my thumbnail for two. He said that in, it was 2K17, I think he said that. Oh, what is better between the two of them or what's like my favorite game? Uh, between the two of them, 2K16 by far. I don't really like, I thought 2K17 was solid, but like, Where's my squad? Where's my squad made at? Just taking the long way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a three level scorer. Oh, it's, it's about to be straight boards. Straight, straight boards for me. Pull up on the squad spot. Oh yeah, cause I'm going inside every single time after that. Like, be... people think 2K was, no, 2K17 was not good. Like I remember 2K17. Like I feel like a lot of people really got into 2K around like the 2K16, 2K17. 2K16 was a learning curve for them. 2K17 was where a lot of people really started to blow up. Or like really started to get good. And so they have like this nostalgia factor. 2K17 was an okay at best game. 
as far as like the scheme, like grand scheme of even like the last like 10 2Ks. <laughs> the spam dribble? The 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 six eleven demigod? What? So I'm just not there. I'm just, I'm not even here. Like, whole, whole bump me and everything. It was like, nah, you good. Yeah. You felt good about that? <laughs> okay. Yep. It's gonna be a straight dunk song. I need for he's got he's got to step up or something. Oof! Big guys. <laughs> nah, that, that, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna, yeah, I, I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna catch y'all slipping on that, like straight post moves. Six fouls, six fouls. Be aware of that. Six fouls. Just understand, six fouls. I'm very confused right now. Ooh, good luck, good luck. I said, I said, six fouls. That's fair. Honestly, that was one of like the first builds I ever did. Um, like as far as like when I first, first, first started doing videos, it was like I'm gonna try to make it with the badges and like the build, kind of like complete like how he plays in my team.
<laughs> Honestly, shots was crazy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like any of the shots. Shot selection wasn't great. Fair enough. Yo, so what's crazy is, is that I don't use, like, I use Unpluggable now, but um, I prefer, pro, like, I prefer Postman Technician, like, as an offensive tool, because I post up. Um, but, like, if I'm playing, like, it's, it's, the thing about badges is that badges are supposed to change depending on what mode you're in. If you're playing my career, Postman Technician. If you're playing my, uh, if you're playing the Wreck, Unpluggable, Park, Unpluckable, uh, Wreck, Break Starter, uh, put that bitch on gold. If you're playing Park, you put it, you put it on silver. Like, it just depends on the mode you're you're playing. My, my teammate is not spinning the block. Um, I guess we can run threes now. <laughs> That's fair. I ain't even mad at it. I ain't even mad at it. And switch, switch back up. Man. Yo, man put up with the 82 and I was like, all right, bet. I'm gonna set him screens and, and he got threes. He was like, no, thank you. He was like, no, thank you. And I was like, okay, that's cool too. Uh, slam no he is honestly like I'm I'm not upset at him because I wanted to play I just I knew what I was getting into when I got here but um yeah he said he's, he's, he's bouncing he said see me in about 10 I'm like all right bet cool you know cool we run the threes though <laughs> I'm running, I'm running, I'm running circles around him. I'm running circles around him. Like you can't take a seven three, you can't take a seven three center into the wreck. I mean, into the park. That that would get you eaten alive. <laughs> My center has. If I got the gym right badge, it'd have eighty speed. <laughs> Oscar Roman was good, bro. <laughs> uh, we're at the bottom left court. We can go up to the middle left court, though, because they need a five. Top left? All right. Nah, you just gonna have to hop on the spot, bro. That's it. That's it. yeah. That's fine. I mean, like rep is never ever. <laughs> That's what I said. Like elites, like that just means that you play the game a lot. That's really all that means. Like, I, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even say, well, by this point in the game, like, if you're an elite, 
and you played into like May, June. That just means that you played about six to eight, between six and 12 hours a day from the start. Now, if, you were, if you're if you're a uh, legend by like, I don't know, October, then I gotta I gotta ask some questions. I gotta be like, yo, what's good with you for for? I saw um, about twenty. I'm only gonna uh, so I'm actually only going to run two k until about six o'clock, um, and then I'm gonna do the twenty ten redraft at six thirty. Or after I like, get myself re together and everything. So it is gonna be one extended stream maybe yeah I'm, I'm gonna have it one long one one singular stream instead of having uh like breaking it up y'all just gonna have to watch like uh, y'all just gonna have to watch it yeah he said hold up hold up don't worry about it i got you fam <laughs> spin the block <laughs> Spin the block with a 95 overall same build. I'm be like, yo, all right, cool. Will that improve his shot selection now? Snuffles was good. Did I say 2021 redraft? I said 2010 redraft. What's good, Snuffles? Uh, the 2010 draft is the John Wall draft, actually. That's the John Wall, Paul George draft, yeah. That was his draft also. I was say, they gonna leave you open? Big bets. With, with fake Stephen A. Smith? Yeah, Doris Burke, yo, that's... As far as sports analysis, I think I like Doris Burke. Um, I was gonna say we could have switched, but... Get that out of here. I was gonna say get back. I, I See, what's crazy was I'm going to step up, and it puts me in the animation, bro. Like, I'm literally like, like starting to step up in 2k like nah you stuck in animation and i've always hated that like the content like sucking you into animations right like i just i really i re like i think i like 2k16 more also because 2k16 at least forced you to play defense Like by by the time 2K17 and then 2K18 for sure, like there was a severe lack of defense. I about to say grab that. They was just they was they was just like yo paint. We all in the paint. Let's do this paint. <laughs> I was like all right back corner. <laughs> oh, they're clogging up the paint. Something heavy, bro. Something heavy for that to still happen. Facts. Honestly, yo, you pressed him a little bit with. Ah. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good finish. Do I play on Xbox or PS? I play on PS. I'm about to say, somebody, somebody go get him. All right, I got your switch. I got your help. 
I watched the Eagle play sides also. Wait, quick first step. This it's 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 how I say it's a cross cross and then it's a Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's game. That's game. <laughs> I'm like, who's Jacque? <laughs> uh, we can either spin the block or we can go bot, uh, middle left. Or we can take over the, the spot middle right as well. Just let me know. All right. Just straight screen, screen, play shot. Bet. Oh, the OPness of locks last year was crazy also. Just, ge just general locks. Like, play, like, uh, well, they even have my, like, permanent lockdowns, but, like, yeah, rebounding wings. Uh, even like the six nine paint piece was like super OP. It's so crazy. They were so OP that they completely took them out of the, the game this year. No, you yeah. You... Can you make a rebounding wing? I'm pretty sure they just became perimeter lockdowns. Like they lumped them all into the perimeter lockdown wave. He, I was say he. I, I looked at him. I was like, he's about to take this all the way. He's thinking about it too. Look at that corner. Look at that corner. Watch that corner. It's all good. Just call out next time. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I should have taken it up, because they were they were super shook. I thought about it, I was like I just had to put it up. I was there was no time left. I didn't I didn't like the shot or anything. <laughs> Wow, 2K. Get corner, get corner, get corner, get corner. I got, I'm, I got to step up.
Talk that defense shit. Talk that defense shit. To oh wow, two K. I ain't even mad at it. Like you played defense as well as you could on that. I ain't. E um, you can make a re can you make a rebounding wing? I have never seen a rebounding wing in two K twenty one. But yeah, it was definitely much better in two K twenty. Yo, why he just tried to hit the spin on you? Why he hit the fucking dri uh, slip and slide? He played NBA Street Volume 2 on you, bro. <laughs> ah, I get, I, yeah, I sold on that. <laughs> he hit the game break on us and everybody was like, it's it. Ah, that's early. I'm gonna get demonetized. Damn, that's crazy. If I get demonetized, I get demonetized. That's it. We just gonna see a very. Uh, I'm gonna take my talents to Twitch because clearly they know how to treat a content creator that gets profane. <laughs> Yo, just get that corner. Just get that corner. Get that corner. <clears throat> oh, oof. <laughs> it could <laughs> it could have been you no stop that I had an 82 overall <laughs> I had to do a lot more things that went out of my skill set <laughs> yo get corner get corner get corner No, no, I'm not mad at it. Like, I just had to do things that were outside of my skill set. <laughs> I did not have the facilities for that. If I'm in the paint, I can read defense. Yeah, let's do this. I could pay protect. That's all you. Oh, oh, you should have popped that. Why? There was two men in the paint. There was two men in the paint. You was like, nah, fuck it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> let's get wild with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he thought he was playing the Space Jam like uh Space Jam 2 game. LeBron James Sun game. Good shot. Do you? <laughs> take it again, take it again, take it again. <laughs> oh, wow. Honestly, I'm not making fun of you, Lame Dan. It's just me. It's, it's all out of jest. It's really all out of, like, I really appreciate you. It's just, not like, for real, for real. Like, I don't want you to feel, like, offended or anything. It's really just out of pure jest. Like, I wasn't frustrated with you or anything. It was just, again, when you come on the court, like, I, I came on the court, um, I just wasn't expecting you to be 82 overall, but at the same time, like, I did not enjoy playing with you because, again, I, I do this for y'all. I didn't. I'm not coming here expecting to like rattle off 99 wings. I'm coming here to play with people who have supported me. So for me to joke around and be like, oh, he was 82 overall, it's not like, yeah, I don't want you to feel like that. 
With that being said, I'm cutting everybody's ass. That was a badass shot. Stop taking them shots. <laughs> nah, nah, not you, lame Dan. I'm talking about, I'm talking about you, uh, Jamie. Badass shots. Stop taking them shots. <laughs> everybody getting roasted. <laughs> Everybody getting roasted. I'm Santa Roast. I'm Saint Saint Roast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, wait a minute. <laughs> it's in my files. It's just the players deleted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not the no badges. Glocky, is that Glocky? Is that how you pronounce it? Are you on uh, PlayStation? Uh, yeah, then send me an invite at the Mac Roberts. You have a good three, I just can't contest it. So then just like, what I would suggest you do for real for real is just work on, on pass and just take your time. Like, I was trying to sit you screens, wait for the screen to come. Or like, just get yourself some space, especially if you see the double coming. Reeb XRN Glock. <laughs> I'm heavily debating on whether on whether or not I want to um Cause I know that I got a big build for PlayStation, like for next gen, and then also for current gen. It's like, how many builds do I want to make for current gen and next gen park? That is the question I'm gonna have to sit down and decide for myself. Uh, Cause I made two builds for next gen, and if next gen was a solid game, I would be running like I have a shooter and I have a finisher or, or a big man. <clears throat> I remember I think Dignify said it on Twitter, if I'm, I, I, like memory's completely bad, but he said it, I was like, uh, 2K21 was supposed to be the uh, game on next gen where all the content creators were supposed to, to blow up. We were like, everybody was like, facts. I look at my views from like next gen, like at the start, and I'm like, yo, those views are crazy. And it was just a, it was just a scam because the game wasn't good. All right. Uh, You said the secret word. This 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 video is sponsored to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Did you know that you can get <laughs> your own hero now using promo code MAC in the description box? Download it now. <laughs> yeah. Um. When we run it back, Glocky, my bad. I didn't see that you said it invited me. Um. We can run twos. You just gonna go back and forth between bills.
<laughs> Pain bees and up, yeah. Solid. Yep. Yeah, because you're going to have to guard the finisher. Uh, what's good, Tobias? <clears throat> I, I have no defense for that. I'm just like, look, I don't have the facilities for it. Uh, honestly, well, that, that would make, what, three, and then if Glocky and Tobias runs, that would make five, so we would just need to pick up a, if we want to run three on twos, that's also fine by me. Like, and then, like, just pick up a random third. That's also fine. Why was that pass so slow? I was about to say, that's good now. Yeah, we, I'm saying all five of us can run. That's basically what I was saying. I was going to say the dribbling on the 2K, it's, well, both versions of 2K were actually really solid. Don't even worry about it. It's all good. Then yam it on him then. Then yam it on his head. Which one do I want to use? Uh, well, if we're playing, if we're playing three twos, stop that. Stop that. I was gonna say, put yo, bring out your best build. That's basically the answer. Whatever build is your best build, bring it out. And we'll adapt to that. Yo, 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 your filet ain't have enough on it, bro. That's what it was. I was going to say, what are you doing, fam? Oh, is he quitting? <laughs> Silly Finisher is actually, a, like, that's one of my favorite badges. I think that, that I'm trying to. I did too, because I thought I was going to go straight up with it. it. Honestly, if I went straight up with it, I would have gotten blocked. You waiting on the side of the court, bet. Is that you in the black and white, or that's you in the all white? He was ready for it. He was ready for it. Yeah, I was about to say, he was ready for it. He got his Sharon gun on. I had, to meet, I had to meet him at the rim. Good finish. Okay, bet. That's off. I'm not going to be able to get there, though. Yo, it bounced right off your head. Wow. That dunkle, yo. 2K, yo, 2K basically told you, you don't have to use that dunk again, bro. Honestly, I wasn't in position. Like, he could have he could have gotten, he could have pulled straight up with it. Like, I cause I completely forgot to, oof, good finish. Um. What's good, Jumpman Sandro? He called you Thanasis, bro. 
He called you at oh well, he called you Costas, bro. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. He he tried to 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 play me. That's what happened. All the way. All the way. We must sacrifice for this victory. Sometimes we might lose the look. We might lose a couple people on the way. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Well, that's his last, I thought it was his last name. His, yo, he's from the family of Farquaad. Good shot, uh, Jaden. That's that. Yo, if you come through, that makes it uh, three on threes. We just gonna take over one of these courts, and we just gonna cycle through. All the way, all the way, all. The, oh, oh, I should have lobbed it. I honestly should have lobbed it. I thought you were. I thought you were gonna keep cutting. I was getting ready to lob it to you, but you had stopped. I was. I should. I should have called it out. Ooh, ooh. Uh, we did. We did what we were supposed to do here. So what's crazy is, is that like your Dr. J face didn't look like Dr. J. When we were in the like, when we were in the the park, but now it does kind of look like it. I'm like, yes, yeah, that's, that's Julius. Mhm. Mm but could you? Could you really shoot with him though? Um, yeah, pull up on us. Uh, Jaden, are you ready to run right now? I'm doing good, Jumpman Sandra. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, they said we spinning the block. Yeah. Um, is anybody else trying to join right now? Um, Jaden, what's your PSN? If you're on PlayStation, if you're on PlayStation, this PlayStation exclusive. I should probably have said that. Because <laughs> we did everything we were supposed to do. I'm honestly just waiting to see. If anybody else pops. Okay, visionary 1209. We run we run in the games. We're in Duelist Kingdom. He got, a little, he got a little shaken up by the fact that there was play shots in the, in the court. You have found in my one weakness. Play shots. You know that's why I got that gla uh, that brick wall on, 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 on Gold Hall of Fame. That's why it keeps it on that. I'll be ready for it. 
Uh, one second. Yeah, I got a whole I got a whole burner PSN account. Um Yeah, bottom right, everybody hop on. Um We're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. All right, so right now we've got four, so we can run to, oh no, we have five because Jane is in the neighborhood somewhere. Where he at, dude? Um, yeah, Visionary 21, yeah. All right, so right now it's... Yo, man, it's just like, yo, it's an easy pack up. Let me run through, let me run through. <laughs> All right, we can run. Oh, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 stop it. Visionary. Whose jersey you got on? Cause you got you got on a you got on a Hassal jersey? That's not Pal Gasol. And you got 23 on. where did you get this jersey from? Where I Nah, nah, hold up, hold up. Where did you get that jersey from? Who who sold you that jersey? You need to get a refund today. <laughs> That's not Jordan. You... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. How do you get 23 though? Because usually twenty three is retired. Like you're not you're not able to make like custom jerseys with twenty three on it. I know, but he would have had. Oh, unless he got traded. Okay. Why wow, this man? Yo, he dancing. Yo. Man wanted to play, yo. Man wanted to hit the you guys serve, and I was like, I don't, I don't have the facilities for that. All right, so we got a full six then, right? Three, four, five. Oh, and I'm waiting on. I don't, I don't think I even bought animations this year. Like I bought all my animations for next gen because I was playing primarily next gen. All right. Uh. <laughs> Yo, all right, so there have been many times that I was getting ready to hop on stream. I was like, all right, it's six o'clock. Um, I have time, let me get myself together. I accidentally forget to start the game and I'll end up being like hella late because I'm sitting there waiting, staring at Zion trying to do a dunk on an imaginary hoop. Like the loading screen on 2K20, like it's a lot faster now, but 2K next gen, 2K21 next gen was absolutely horrible at the start. All right, so yeah, we gonna we, we we can snatch the squad spot. I just need to make sure we got all threes. All right, so everybody hit the squad spot. That he on the summer that he about to get on the summer jam screen. Uh
<laughs> yo, they yo yo. They said they said you a non-factor, Jaden, bro. Yo, yo, I'm gonna just keep passing to you because they they just called you a non-factor and you gotta prove them wrong. Oh, they disrespectful, bro. Nah, you got you gotta pull up on them with it. <laughs> he was like, yo, my my whole budget went into to the fit. The hat was just part of the the collection. It was a, it was a. <laughs> I about to say he was in, yeah. I just had to sit there and wait for you to jump on that one. That was I was like I got that bucket. That's easy. Cause like once you jumped, I was like I said, wow. <laughs> yo, I two K yo two K straight hold me on that one. They was like yo, we don't want you to be great. Reborn Glock. I, yo, I thought, yo, honestly, yo, no funny. That was my fault. I honestly, I forgot that you were, uh, cause I'm looking, I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at Jamie. I'm like, oh, that's easy. Cause we've been playing so long. I was like, oh, that's easy bucket. No, I was saying like, I was, I was looking, I was thinking I was passing to Jamie. That's what I was getting ready to say. Cause I saw the cut coming. I was like, oh, that's easy. They called me lacking on that one. Good shot. Nice. I it was it was super delayed, but yeah, it was nice. You're not getting that though. See, see, we gotta take it away. We gotta yo right there. It was nice, and then it wasn't nice. Just pop that. Just pop that. Tell him hold it. Tell him hold that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, difficult shots. Uh he said hold that right oh 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 I thought he I thought he went right back at him with it. I thought she's gonna go right back at him with it. You're not going at me two K Wow <laughs> That was not that was actually wild like that, yo, the fact that I was like, yo, I got good defense. They even gave me credit for the block. That's what's crazy about it. How would you, I'm. What was that? What was that entire animation, bro? That's not, that's not, that's not. Yo, that's payback. No, that's payback. We even for that dunk. We even for that dunk now. <laughs> I mean, we still, we still, we still, we still talking. We still talking. Yo, he's coming. He's coming through with them steppings like crazy. I, yo, I keep thinking that that Jamie's on the squad. I keep yo, and I'm like, yo, yeah, he's opening the corner. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Nah, we still playing. We we yo. I mean, hands up does hand like hands up is much more effective. What is my big yo? What what yo? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> that was disrespectful. I didn't I didn't appreciate that. That was disrespectful. What? 
Yo, get cor get corner, get corner. I have the paint. <laughs> I, I I mean I'm trying to like slide around. Like he's ah. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing here. That's what you're doing in the streets. I don't have my jump shot on. What you mean you don't have your jump shot on? What does that mean you don't have your jump shot on? What does that what does that mean? <laughs> nah, honestly, this is hella fun. I'm having hella like I'm having wild fun right now. Mine is on silver. Yeah, I don't think anybody really like goes super hard on rim protector. Like not like in last year. Like last year you kind of needed rim protector to be high. Yeah, we going to put that we we going to put that one fade on the summer jam screen, bro. <laughs> um but yeah, like I said, it's it's all fun. I'm not like I'm not it's, I'm not mad about any of the games that we play. We just playing right now. We playing for fun. Like, I feel like 2K as a whole has completely forgotten that. Like, we can play for fun. We, we can play and have fun on this game. Uh, nah, top left, top left. Uh, unless you want to... Where's my... Where's the rest of my squad at? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I got, I got, I got... <laughs> yeah, we want Glock still here. Yeah, 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 no, he's, he's, he was, he, he was just chilling, he was chilling at the other court. I'm getting invasively added to squads, I'm like, that's not what I wanted, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want this, I don't, I don't, I don't consent to this, I didn't, I didn't consent to, to being added to squads. No means no, are you, wait, you coming back around, uh, Quay? All right, cool. Let's get the squad spot. Yo, why yo? Why they holding the squad? Why they holding the spots hostage? Yo. <laughs> yeah, no. Get the left spot. Get the left spot. Where? Yo. Back to bottom. All right, back to bottom. Back to bottom. Back to bottom. <laughs> I have silver pogo stick. I don't have pogo stick on at all. Like pogo stick is one of those things where either you go all in on pogo stick or you don't put it on at all. That's why that's one of those build like if you look at my bat like my build, very few builds have pogo stick on it. Um where is our third? Where is Oh no, he's not he's not in the squad anymore. He's not in the squad at all. Come on, visionary. I just need to I don't I don't Well if you're a point guard then you don't need uh pogo stick at all. At least I don't think so. All right. Matter of fact, yo, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna run with this. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to hop off. All right, so we're just gonna come back, go 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 back up to the top left, and I'll just run with whoever comes up to the first. I really don't care. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. 
Yeah, got your squad on the squad spot. Cool. I don't. I didn't see him in the. I didn't. I didn't see him. One second. Uh. Yeah, I didn't see it. Uh, what's good, Scott? Um, Tyrell, what's good? What's my take on Westbrook to the Lakers? Uh, I don't know. They got the spot first. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Tyrell is playing against me. Okay. Um. Uh, yo, yo, they, yo, they just pop. Yo, it's it's at the point now where like squad members that I mean, like people are just popping in and be like, yo, we we want to run with you. All right, you didn't say what's up. You didn't say, yo, I'm about to turn this off the squ uh, subscribers only, bro. That's what it's about to turn into. That's also fair. At this point, yeah, that's fair. I was only I was also thinking because people are gonna be consistently trying to come in and out and try to play with us. That was the only thing I was worried about. Okay. Don't take that shot again. Just don't take just don't take that shot again. <laughs> I talk too much trash about 2K21. I, I talk too much trash about 2K to get a logo. That's the answer to that question. I talk entirely too much trash to get a logo. And, and also it's like, for me, like logo is like something that people feel like is something that like validates them. I don't need to be validated by a logo. Like if I if I make good content, I make good content. I need some. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So who's guarding corner? If I'm guarding your man, who are you? Like I need. We need to talk about this. Do we need to communicate? I'm gonna set you a screen. <laughs> Good finish. Appreciate the sub, Reef. Now, now you, now you sub. Bet. Yeah, yeah. You stretch for. Teammates kind of selling, not gonna lie. I mean, it's for the fans, man. I'm, play, I'm playing on, I'm playing on my subs. Don't be talking about subs like that, Scott. Gary. That was a bad take. Honestly, if he's saying something, I can't really hear it because, like HD, like it's, it's plugged into the TV, but like I don't, I don't hear it. Why does the little kid sound like Terrence Howard? <laughs> Mac, do I want to run a bet? So that would make what? That's a, that's a full six, right? <laughs> about the Akatsuki? I'm about to say, it, it, Oh, 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 I thought you were going to keep running. My fault.
Oh. Don't bring up Neji with me, man. That just made me sad all over. Yo, I literally, yo, that happened like six years ago, and I'm still not over it. Um, honestly. No, no, wait, wait, no, no. Sorry, I was, I got fouled. But no, no, honestly, um, what happened was um, one of the saddest moments I feel like in the game, uh, in the entire series, was when they had the explosion during the. Um, I mean, if you're gonna you're gonna pass it back and forth, we can. We need to get some ball, get some ball movement. Like swing around, swing around, get the cut. Um, when they had the explosion, when um, when Shikamaru's di dad died. Like, it was kind of like one of those things where, like, waiting, and you knew that it was going to happen. They were having this last bonding moment. That was really sad. No, not when Asuma died. When his actual dad died. When Asuma dying was also really sad because that was one of those things that came super out of left field. Um, and the fact that Kara and I just had, or was about to have the, the, the baby, was really sad. Um... I hated that, like, like that was so dummy boy because, like, I got caught, like, I caught the first animation was correct, and then, like, I don't know, it was like turnover. I hate it here, but yeah, good game, bro. All right, let's run this back. Which episode was that? Yes. Yeah. That, 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 was, that, was, that, was, that was a whole filler act. And I was like, I, I remember it, but like, okay. Yeah. I remember that. I actually, well, I wasn't actually surprised by it because I, I actually, by that point, was actually reading the manga. Um, because I was like, oh, like we 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 still got all these fillers because this is when Naruto like original was still running in Cartoon Network, and we hadn't even gotten anywhere close to shipping. And I was like, all right, we running this. Like, let's see what's going on. What's, what happens in the future? Um, what court are we on? Um, all right. Mac, yes. Am I on the squad with Jamie? All right, so there is going to be, let's see. That's six people, right? One, two, three, four, Jamie, and uh, Arif, that's six, yeah. Did you pull up with a back to the basket big? All right, so. All right, so. Uh, we got we got two bigs. We got three bigs. Three bigs, two guards, and two forwards. We don't have that many. We don't have the facilities for that. <laughs> What's the first bill gonna be for 2K22? Um <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. Um, yeah. All right. So who's, who's, who's somebody, we go to somebody's court. Um, bet, uh, my court, who's court? I don't, I, I don't have an upgraded court, but yeah, we can all run to my court. Cause then like people can, I guess I, um, I don't, I have to have, I have to add everybody. <laughs> All right, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. All right, Reborn Glock I've got, Freeborn Tree I've got, Hidden Cloud Kage I've got, Raise Killer I need to add. I think that he's added me already. Oh, he just wanted one game. Oh, okay, cool. That was visionary. He was like, I just wanted one game. Wow.
I mean, you could just add them to the party. It would just been like one big crazy party. We having a we having a fun time. All right, all right, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, this this is entirely like, all right. Man, man, just man, just pulled up onto the into the into the voice chat. Tyrell, I know, but I just had the notification. He was like, "Join the voice chat." I was like, okay, what's up? <laughs> it's just a whole big game group. All right, one, two, three. Let me add you. And the kid Quay. <laughs> All right, so we have in total six people. By my count is six plus Quay is seven. Who's not nah, 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 nah. who's he? I don't I don't know him. I don't I'll I'm actually about to Alright, so for real for y'all wanna know what the first build is gonna be? Um It's going to be either Allen Iverson LeBron James Penny Hardaway is not going to be one of the first builds I do, but he's gonna be in the top ten. Or Russell Westbrook. This is what Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> Ryan Hollins. <laughs> Kenyon Martin. <laughs> no, no, you said I know. I heard you say Kevin Martin, and I said Kenyon Martin. <laughs> OJ, I, I actually, all right. So, OJ Mayo stole entirely too much money from the Memphis organization. I would never make an OJ Mayo build. That's also, that's also the reason why I would never make a Chandler Parsons build. Stole too much money from the Memphis organization. That was the, they, had, they had a window, and they were supposed to be the first bucks where everybody's going to be real happy for them. Actually, to be honest, United uh, Talent is actually doing pretty well for 2K21. People bullying with the Rudy Gay. Uh, all right, so with the Rudy Gay build, here's why I... Well, Rudy Gay isn't a great defender. He's an okay defender. Let's, let's make that clear. Um, I mean, he's a better finisher and, and a better shooter. All right, let's go to the park. I think he's there. Uh, yeah, we're going to my court. Is that, is everybody in the squad? Cause if it, well, if everybody's on my friends list, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm about to get that copyright. Hey, because I took my headphones off. How do we? How do I feel about Luke Garza and Cade Cunningham playing together in Detroit? Uh, I think that. Well, Luke Garza is solid. Um, I I saw a couple of highlights. Uh, I think that the combination of Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bay, and Killian Hayes, along with uh, Jaron Grant, I mean, Jeremy Grant. Um, I like that as a core for the future. They're all really young. Like, Jeremy Grant's the oldest, and he's only, like, 24, 25. 
Um, like that's. Yeah, I'm in my court. Everybody's popping into my court. One, two, three, four, five. I got five people in the court. Six. <laughs> Let me see if I can add you. Hey, 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 who told him, who, to, who, who told him to shoot around on my court? That's crazy. Um, it's just real disrespectful. Um, are you not on my friends list? Oh, wait, I might not have accepted you. Then that was my fault. No, you're just not on my friends list. That's why I didn't pop up. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now you should be able to add you, yeah. There was too many people that added me all at one time. I was, I was gonna, I lost track, that was my fault. Nah, Quay's on my friends list. Y'all look at my shoe game, bro. Y'all look at y'all look at my shoes. My hi, my name is Trey. I'm a point guard. I got a basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> I got shoe game. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you good for shooting around. Just, well, yeah, we, we, we're just figuring it out all out. That's all. All right, so we got... Yo, they overloaded. My, my core got overloaded, bro. <laughs> that's why we don't have... That's why we don't have Crush Gen play. That's exactly why. <clears throat> that was a great time. Although Xbox Live was better. Like Xbox 360 was better, in my opinion. Um, I remember uh, Storm, Ultimate Ninja Storm. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't, I've never like I I'm experimenting on a bunch of different games, um, like on like Big Wheel Wednesday and everything, just to see what people are really into. Uh, all right, so let me see how many people are in right now, because I'm actually going to pop off and then like get myself ready for uh, my 2010 redraft. So if there's one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. I appreciate Tyrell for sitting there waiting patiently instead of going to shoot around. He said, I'm a, I'm a wait to get my buckets off. He said, I'm chilling. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here patiently waiting. It's, it's not my house. I didn't ask. <laughs> All right. So let me just, I'm gonna just randomly set the team. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna be my last, my last actual 2K game anyway. Um, and we have an uneven amount of people. Yeah, there's, 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 you would have been seven. Apparently, we lost a couple people on the way. Um, there's six people in total. Uh, everybody pick a number. One. Uh, well, I can't even. I can't even do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, can I not count? All right, that's the teams. 
I try to do it as random as possible. I didn't realize I got three. I put three bigs on the same team. Yeah. Yo, he pulled up with it. He was like, hold that. <laughs> he said, guard up on him. That was that was wild disrespectful. He said, yo, you, yo, he said, nah, you gotta go back at him. Gotta go back at him. I, I wasn't. I don't have to shoot. I'm play. Yo. I'm going to let you shoot, Ari. Prove to me you can shoot, and I'll guard, I'll guard you. You got to you have to put the team in your back, bro. Yo, he had that, she had that stress, and that's what caused him to gain all that weight. Like, Orlando, and then even, like, Cleveland, like, his second Cleveland year. Like, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm overweight. I'm about to hit that corner, hit that corner. Easy. Yo, so many people were out here trying to grab that rebound. <laughs> I mean, it's three bigs or four bigs in total. Yo, I stretch for as our point guard. <laughs> That's the type of game we playing. I stretch for as the point guard. Nope. All right, so all right, you're back to the basket, big as blue green. So, okay. So I'll take I'll take on I'll take on the slasher then. I'll guard I'll guard up on the slasher. Good finish. That was a good finish. That was a good finish. Ah. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> Good strip. Good strip. I'm there. Wow. Wow. I was about to say straight up with it, straight up with it. Like if you if you gonna chill in the <laughs> Man hit the JaVel McGee in and out of the paint, bro. Hold that. Hold that. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Like I said, he gonna have to he gonna have to prove to me he can shoot. He said, no, I'm shooting it. He said, I'm the shooter today. That's, yo, that's, that's, I have zero points also. <laughs> ah, you, you should have gone straight up with it. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Yo, freeborn tree, don't be afraid to pass it, bro. Good pass. That's a hey. good steal. Wow. That was ugly. That was ugly as hell for no reason. <laughs> that was ugly as hell for no reason. He's pulling up with it. We know. We know your strategy. <laughs> ah, you had to foul me? Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay. I'm not even going, yo, I was like, oh my goodness, no. And he was like, yo, I got this, fam. And I got to be like, all right, bet. <laughs> he had that super flexible release. <laughs> all right, y'all. I appreciate everybody who popped in. If you're staying in and you're going to watch the redraft, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, redraft starts at 630. I'm going to have my guy, Zach. If you're not staying on, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon. Join the Penny Face Squad. Shout out to everybody who stopped in. Uh, I appreciate, like, seriously, everybody. I didn't, I didn't, when I started this, I was like, all right, I'm going to have, like, three or four people start in. Uh, we'll, we'll play together for a couple games. It was like, nah, we all pulling up today. And I really appreciate the support. Um, for real, for real. And make sure you follow me on everything. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, farm my farmer's meat at the penny face, and uh, as always, win forever. There you go, that's what it is. Christian Mingle, um, and yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, outside of that, stay tuned. I'm gonna take a quick break.
because chat can't hear me. Um, okay, there we go. I don't know why the, the sound wasn't going off before. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we're back. And it's the 2010 NBA draft. And this draft was a solid, solid draft. Top to bottom. Um, I would say so. We had a bunch of players that's still here in the league. Well, most of the players are still in the league. Uh, but, like, as far as, like, high productive or high production players, you had, like, John Wall, Paul George, Gordon Hayward. Uh, Eric Bledsoe is pretty solid. If you think Hassan Whiteside is a solid basketball player, good for you. Uh, I personally don't. But, yeah. I mean, he was taken as a second-round pick, so he definitely overperformed. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and then you have like uh, you know a couple second tier guys that uh, I still believe have an extra gear. Derek Favors, uh, Alfred Camino, Patrick Patterson. Those guys are still getting Ed Davis, still getting check guys, and then Evan Turner, who underperformed heavily, but he's still in the league. It was still somehow college player of the year that year unanimously. Uh huh. John Wall to just be like, I guess I'll just be first in the draft. That's it. Oh. I guess I'll just get that check. Oh, you you want you want to get that? You want to have that? Fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, you you think he's college player of the year? Okay, that's fine. Cool. You think he's going to be that much similar to me? It's going to be incremental. I'm second in the cool. No, yeah, we'll see. It was for me. I took that personally. <laughs> and I just took that personally. <laughs> Um, that that 2010 University of Kentucky team was hella stacked, though. Uh, that was the John Wall, Eric Bledsoe, DeMarcus Cousins, uh, Patrick Patterson. Um, I think the Darius Rondo. Miller was on that. No, Rondo was... Oh, that Rondo a couple years before. Yeah, Rondo was 06. Um, I'm trying to think on it. There was somebody else who came out. I know Darius Miller came out, and there may have been somebody who came out like the year afterwards. I'm completely drawing a blank uh, from that squad. Um, basketball reference. I need you to to. I'm getting it up. To get to get me that answer. Um, so other people that were drafted around that time out of uh, Kentucky were Jody Meeks um, the year before. That was the year, that was the year before. Uh, and Daniel Orton. He was Andrew the big man. Uh, Brandon Knight. That's who, that well, Brandon Knight was taken the year afterwards. I think he was freshman also. Yes. Uh, but yeah, all, all in all, that was a solid draft year for uh, Daniel Orton was actually the player I was thinking of. But um, yeah, that was a solid draft year for John Calipari. Mm -hmm. All in all. Mm -hmm. um, so you had first pick last year, right? Or last, or last draft, right? Last draft, it was me. Okay. So um, I have the first pick. Washington Wizards. Let's look at the starting five of the Washington Wizards in the twenty in the in the year of our Lord, two thousand plus an additional ten. Uh, the starting five was one second. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Starting five was why can't I pull it up? I know like. JaVale McGee was like one of the stars. Okay, yeah. so starting five of the 2009-2010 Washington, Washington Wizards. Uh, solid year for them. They were fifth in, uh, well, this wasn't a solid year because if I'm not mistaken, Gilbert Arenas was injured this year. Yes, but, Gilbert Arenas only played 16 games, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, you have, as your starting five, primarily for this season, you had Mike Miller getting a bunch of minutes. Mike Miller getting a bunch of minutes. Brendan Hayward getting a bunch of minutes. Karan Butler, still a solid player. Um, Anton Jameson, who Bill Simmons swears up and down is going to make the Hall of Fame. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that one, Chief. And then uh, Nick Young. Nick Young was starting to step up as was Randy Foy. Randy Foy... Uh, Randy Foy looks like a Turk from from uh, Scrubs. Like, I, I couldn't think of his I couldn't think of the actor's name, and that's why I was trying to uh, trying to think of it. Um, it's gonna come to me like 20 minutes from now. 
But yeah, I I I, I thought Randy, Randy Ford was always like a solid undersized guard, like as a backup. I never thought of him as like a starting player. Um, but yes, that's the starting five. Uh, the next season, they would give up Mike Miller because Mike Miller goes to the Heat. Um, Anton Jameson goes to the. What was it, Anton Jameson's next stop? Was it the Cavs? Might have been the Cavs. Uh, I think that's when. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was the year LeBron walked. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because yes, that's exactly what happened. That's the reason. Yeah. Like they they traded him mid season, thinking that that was going to be the move to help LeBron stay, and it was not. They he was like, okay. I see. I see what you're saying. Just, <laughs> go hey, that way. look, I'm. I'm. That's that's my time, y'all. I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> but uh, with that being said, uh, in a redraft, I'm going to take Paul George. Ooh. I feel right. like even in like there's there's no reason to justify playing that game. Uh, Paul George is the correct player. Uh, even like he had, he had a slow start, and, and we're all aware of that. His first couple seasons, uh, and then he kind of exploded, and we we give him a bunch of crap for it now. But like he was, he was a solid player for a number of years, and even still to this day, he's a solid player. Even though like he's pandemic P, and his playoff performance has been very shaky, I think oh, yeah. I'd go with with Paul George as the number one pick. Love that pick. I think a lot of people forget how valuable his position is in the modern day like there's a shortage at a constant of small forwards that can play two way because you can get a lot of guys and i'm saying like a lot but like they're out there if you just find some guy that's like 230 like 69 like you just slow, throw them on the court to have the function that paul did to grow at that pace mm-hmm. and also teams that are led by him aren't bad they they make it in the playoffs yeah they perform consistently enough in the playoffs and paul's consistent like he's consistently kind of shit in the playoffs <laughs> but that's yeah. not that's not that bad considering his regular season career is pretty great and you'd look at this wizards team you need a lot of things they did need a point guard but they definitely could have used him instead of trevor booker i wholeheartedly agree and yeah. worst comes to worst, you can get, probably get a a better point guard um, later on in the draft. Uh, Trevor Booker was not the answer wholeheartedly. Just, whoa, wow! It wasn't a great pick. Um, what happened? All right, so we 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 always have that what if about the the FIBA injury um, when his leg is completely snapped into two. Um, Here's something I've had as a debate. Do they break up the Pacers team if he's not injured? Like the mm-hmm. way they the way they break it up. Like do they just hand Lance the money and um, do they just decide to run it back or do they bring in Evan Turner uh, the same way they did uh, with and, and Andre Andrew Bynum low key wasn't a bad pickup. In retrospect, like in retrospect, it was terrible. Like, but in the moment, I was like, "Yeah, you know, that's a low, low energy pick." I don't think that they break up the team in that manner. I think they just run it back with the same squad they have. Personally, yeah. I think there's a lot to be said about what that FIBA injury did to the trajectory of the team. I mm-hmm. think they, you know, you you look at the 2015, 2016 roster. I just click the season tab. Right. I want the team tab. Uh, they had a lot of talent around Paul. They were trying to support the offense, but there was also lack of interest from like really strong contenders. So instead Mm -hmm. of the the toppest of level shooting guards, you're getting Monta Ellis. And so the toppest of toppest level, you know, six man caliber guys, you're getting people like CJ Miles. So it's not like you have a bad team in front of you, but I think it affects the, the confidence that people around the league were having in this new generational star. What really did Paul George the damage in in a lot of how he's handled his trajectory to me was that last year in OKC. It's a very recent what happened because he yeah. performed at an MVP level. The team wasn't good. That's bad. Mm-hmm. That's tough. That's tough to handle. Right. So I think 
if anything, what Indy would have given him is the stability to build that franchise. And uh, what, what happened is that all his attempts afterward have just been so poor that you wonder, would that have given him the stability and like the, I guess, the staying power for people to be like, I want to go to Indiana. I want to try this out with him because he never had a running mate correctly over there. No, uh, his best running mate, realistically speaking, was Lance Stevenson, who was also in this draft. And um, maybe David West, like Miles Turner, didn't even I can know he he, yeah. that he was. Yeah, Miles Turner. Yeah, Monte Ellis was. Monte Ellis didn't even have his best season there. Like his his best season would actually come a year later when he was on the Mavs. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Imagine imagine Beal and 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 Paul George just running it. That would look so much fun. Would be excellent. Yeah. I could see a lot of power forwards going down there mm-hmm. to like want to play with him too. Veteran big men too. Right. Like, I agree. Yeah. I, I just he never got that type of talent around him. Uh, but I do think that if if John Wall is not selected number one, we don't have the greatest keep getting them checks moment in the history of the world when. Uh, <laughs> Gilbert Arenas got traded to Orlando and then got bought out by Memphis. But they still paid him up until about 2019. He was like one of the top 10 players, highest paid players up until like 2018, 2019. Like he was getting them checks. It was beautiful. <laughs> I like that is something that I've always aspired to do. Like do something really, really well for like six or seven years and then continue to get paid a bunch of money after that for the next like five or 10 years. <laughs> it's beautiful. He's a beautiful keep getting them checks guy. It's it's an incredible story of a man that just dared to believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, like him and him and Bobby Bonilla. Him him Bobby Bonilla and by extension also like Amari Stoudemire is also on that list. Yo, it was really incredible to me too is that there's no rule there were no rules or anything prepared in the NBA like lexicon to like prepare for that eventuality like oh what if a player is literally unable to play like <laughs> they kind of have to pay out his contract mm-hmm. like nba in so many ways is the anti-nfl because as strict as the nba is about some stuff like the, the weed policy was horrific for such a long time until yep. my man Dion waiters had that episode <laughs> on his airplane He's and like... the nba was like you're traumatized so we're yes. gonna let this slide uh, but you could get away with anything in the NBA as long as you showed up in a suit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't care what they're doing. We just want to make sure that they look good. Dress rectally. Dress like adults. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah. So you got the number two pick with the Philadelphia 76ers. The pre process 76ers. This is still the DeAndre Godala 76ers. So oh, in this slot, the 76ers previously selected Evan Turner, which to me was like really ridiculously wild. Like I have no idea what the starting five must have looked like where they felt they had a need at. Mm-hmm. What really was like forward guard, because Evan Turner is undersized, like he has height and whatever, but he's not like, doesn't have, he's, you know, that, that presence. Yeah, yeah he's smaller. Uh, they had Thad Young. They had a young Drew, Hall- a twenty-year-old Drew Holiday. Played all drafted. eighty-two games. Two. He got drafted the season before, two thousand nine. Drafted the season before. Mm-hmm. They had Thad Young. Yep. You know, a, a current bull. They had Elton Brand, a bull ten years prior. <laughs> um, got to throw in your bulls uh, and marks. Yeah, I got just to, as many times as possible. Facts. Uh, honestly, it really feels like. My pick here would have been, hmm, I'd say Gordon Hayward. All right, so um, before we get into the actual logistics behind Gordon Hayward, I like the pick. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's talk about Gordon Hayward. All right, so I got as many draft day suit pictures as I could. (laughs) Um, I'm just going to put Gordon Hayward's picture here, and we're going to talk about it. Uh, this, this pick. <laughs> why does he look like a serial killer? Why does he look like uh, the 
the Dark Knight killer. Like, he looks like he's about two years away from being the Dark Knight killer. You know what it is? It's the head tilt. I want everybody to look at every photo here and then tell me who's tilting their head the, the most. Well, they can't the see the side. photos. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? They can't. They can't see the photos. I can't see the photos. No. I. Yeah. Here, here, here's what it is, guys. If you're looking at someone, right? It informs that you're just very like I'm looking at you here, right? I'm looking at you. If I'm like this. My head's just like perpendicular to like a staircase. It mm -hmm. means I'm, I'm I'm thinking about stabbing somebody, and my man <laughs> has his head all the way to the side. Literally every Bradley, Lance Stevenson, typically you know violent players, just straight ahead, very looking normal. But my man Gordon looks like he's looking through a high school chain fence yep. <laughs> at his next victim. All right, so side note, this is not like we are not supporting school shootings in any way, shape, or form. Before we, before we get demonetized, <laughs> that is not what I'm saying at all. But what Gordon, I am saying... Gordon Dillon. <laughs> Gordon, def <laughs> Gordon definitely looks like uh, he's about to spin the block a couple times. And it's also <laughs> his smile. Like, I went, I checked Getty for multiple images of uh, like the draft day suits, and in both of his suits, and in both of his pictures, he's got this face, and I'm just like, Gordon, what are you doing, man? Like you, you were this close to winning a championship at, at Butler, and, and this is how you repay. Is, is, is this is this your revenge? This is like, all right, I didn't win that championship. Bet, bet, bet. No, I just <laughs> can't imagine being like. You know, it's like whether it's a man or a woman, it's like some seventy-eight-year-old just like standing at a booth, like making like a big ass union check, but they have to deal with crap like this. <laughs> like this is a rip. End of your life. Don't need that. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's look at Gordon Hayward's first couple of years uh, with the Utah Yaz. Utah Yaz. Uh, uh, and it was not as breakout as some people would have thought it was going to be, but he, I, I do remember that season two he was starting most of the games, mm -hmm. and like he he was picking up steam. He had a bit of a slow start, like Paul. Yeah, um, I don't know. They were they were they were really unsure of what they were going to do with uh, with Gordon Hayward for the first couple seasons. Like, Tyron Corbin just wasn't sure if they were going to run him as the starter or they were going to have him as a backup. And then that fourth season, they were like, well, really, the third season, they were like, all right, let's see what we really have here. Let's really push Gordon Hayward out there because that was also following... Because 2013, 2014 is the year that he started the most games in his career by that point. It was 77 games. And by that point... That was the year that Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap were also traded, or they were not traded. They were both allowed to walk, and they got absolutely nothing for both of them. <laughs> Utah, what are you doing? Um, I, I will never let that go. Like, Utah really thought, and it's cancer, and uh, another pick who's on this uh, board, who's actually taken after this, Derek Favors, but he was actually traded to Utah in the Darren Williams trade. Uh, they thought that, that was going to be their future, and 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 it wasn't. They they really uh -uh. could. Yeah, both of them were gone in like four seasons. Edis definitely wasn't staying, and Derek Favors has been in and out of Utah at like this below service level for ever. He just got he got traded. He just got traded to uh, OKC again. Again? Well, no, he was on the Pelican. So. Funny enough, I was like, again? Because I thought that he was going back to New Orleans. But no, he right. got traded back to, uh, he got traded to OKC. So he's, he's a Thunder now. Th Thunder man. Yo, my man can't even stay with his ex. Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> Your ex don't even want you. They, they traded him and then they brought him back for them to trade him again. Christ. Christ. Um, um, that Boston injury really, like, it kind of shook him up a little bit. Like, I was actually really, uh, I was worried about him. That, like, the, you know, after the injury 
And then the year afterwards, because he was kind of still shaking off that rust, I wasn't actually sure what type of player we were going to get from him. And also, Boston was really weird about playing him at uh, power forward because they had Jason Tatum playing the three, and then they realized, wait a minute, this is stupid. Let's have Jason Tatum, who's 6'8", play the power forward, and let's have 6'6", 6'7", Gordon Hayward play the three. I don't know right. why Brad Stevens thought that that was, that was a legitimate thing that they needed to do. But with that being said, he's actually flourishing a lot in, in, in Charlotte now. And I think that uh, him, LaMelo Ball, um, can't even think of who they drafted today, uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, but he uh, gets up. He gets up. Um, it wasn't book night. Um, oh my gosh. gosh. I'm trying to really think of really draft picks. Uh, oh, it was James Jones. It, it, it was uh it was it was they, they trade they drafted Book Knight. And I was like, was it Book Knight? It was indeed James Book Knight. Um oh. But they also got uh Kai Jones from New York in the in the trade. And I like both of those players for the future. Like Lob City, but between those guys and also uh, Malik Bridges, I was like, which I was like, which Bridges is it? <laughs> which <laughs> which Bridges boy? <laughs> we have a Bridges now. Um, yeah, I think that that that's gonna be a fun young run and gun team with with Gordon Hayward being their bet. I, I like what they're doing with that. They got good assets on the market. Uh, I, I'm impressed with some of the stuff that they've been able to accumulate, and it's it's a lot of new contracts. So this next, it's after this season that it's really uh, gut check time for the Hornets because no matter what they do next season, it's gonna be who they keep with what intention. Because like you can't possibly keep Wanamaker, Monk, Ball, both Martins, Graham. Wash, you know what I mean? Like, right. so, so it's the choices they make, and the way Gordon's been playing, they better make sure that they just keep him because what Gordon's gonna flourish in is obviously staying in the same place. Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> a lot of guys when they get hurt like that, uh -huh. see something happen to their mind and their ability to have confidence in their game. Right. The last thing that Gordon seemed to have a problem with was like playing the game the way he wanted it to. Because like, he's taking his shots, he's passing his passes, he's filling his lanes. I, I didn't see drastic changes. It, no. it feels right. And also, he's still going to give you um, decent defense. He's not going to be like a, a complete ball stopper, like a 3 and D type of player. But he plays mm -hmm. serviceable enough defense to where he's not a liability on defense. And, and like LaMelo Ball is still learning on the defensive end. He's gotten better than, he, he definitely was better than advertised, but like Charlotte this year ranked really bad in defense. I know they did. I was about to say, <laughs> they, they definitely were like near um, 18th out of 30th. That's not. No, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's still in the lower half. Net rating was 23rd though. Net yeah. rating was 23rd. Um, but that's net for offensive and defensive. Um, True. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually thought they were going to be a lot worse than that, but. Um, as a team, like, you need as many at least net zero defenders as you can possibly get. And that's what defense, like, Gordon Hayward is the least, he's not, like I said, he's not an outstanding defender, but he's a positive defender. Like, he's, he's a slightly better than average defender. Um, they still have huge interior problems, though. Like, the, I'm looking at their four factors defensively. Their defensive rebounding rate is third to last. Yep. And it's because there's nobody, you know, it doesn't matter how big certain guys are, even the defensive experience they have, they have nobody that can really corral the ball and be dominant. Uh, and, you know, I'm not trying to disrespect Biombo like that, but I just don't believe that they have anybody like that. I don't think they're even going to bring back Bismarck Biombo. But then again, like, we talked about this in the last draft. Like, he's got to have some sort of, like, uh, extortion <laughs> on, on Michael Jordan for him to keep coming back. He has uh, launch codes. <laughs> he, has, <laughs> he has something. He, I think he has something up in Washington where, like, they have to circumvent, like, give him a contract. <laughs> Any team. Just keep him in the country. Canada's fine. Yes. No, yes. Put him on the rafters. <laughs> That's fine. He's, he can stay there. He can stay there. He won't sell it. Yes. We, we, it's part of his contract. He won't sell the code. Just, 
I just got off the phone with Trudeau. You can approve the Raptors deal. <laughs> and they just, like, his his agent hangs up the phone, like, I have really good news. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that they definitely need to work on their interior presence going forward into the like uh, the next few years, or even trying to get somebody in free agency. I don't really know who they'd get this year, though. Um, I can't imagine who's going over there. So <laughs> num- I'm gonna go with the next. We're gonna go in the next pick. Um, and this one I felt was a no-brainer to me. Uh, Gordon Hayward with with Drew Holiday, you, it makes sense for you to pick. Uh, Gordon Hayward. For me, it made no no sense to take anybody but John Wall with the third pick. Mm-hmm. Um, that hmm. means that, first of all, he doesn't have to get traded. Um, <laughs> sorry, Nets fans, you missed out on Darren Williams because this was uh, a big piece of that Darren Williams trade was John uh, the third pick, which was originally Derek Favors, uh, along with a bunch of other things that you gave up. Um, I mean, Darren Williams was a. I don't know, dude. Do, how do Nets fans feel about Darren Williams, and like his legacy as a, book, a Brooklyn Net? I wonder, like, because it was what five five seasons? Yeah, and they were all like, I mean, like he was a really good, above average player for three of them. Like towards yeah. the end, he was he was, uh, mm. but like between like those those Joe Johnson, Brooke Lopez, Darren Williams, Nets, they looked they looked good. He, he played for them for five seasons, um, and his entire tenure in Brooklyn, sixteen point seven point five assists, uh, two point eight rebounds, and yeah, I, I mean like he he made it to the playoffs for three of the five times he was there. Um, I don't know how Nets fans. I gotta, we gotta ask some Nets fans. Like, yeah, how do you feel about Darren Williams and the legacy gotta, that he had? Gotta, yeah, we gotta get some net because I feel like it was it was also so close to the brand change mm-hmm. and like that end of the Lopez era and all this different types of stuff. Like, it was a painful time for plenty of Nets fans, but also it's gonna depend on the Nets fans we ask. Like, yeah. there's plenty of new age net fan that are going to be like I don't even know that guy like the, I don't recognize who you're showing me I don't even know who that is you mean that guy on the Cavs the, from the Cavs yeah, they, they, they remember him on the Cavs <laughs> I feel like if if you know Darren Williams you know Darren Williams on the Jazz and 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 then on the Nets but like if you don't know Darren Williams you don't know Darren Williams at all yeah you don't actually know you're not actually going to know who he is unless I mean yeah I think after Brook, they moved to Brooklyn, like it was just kind of the beginning of the end for everybody on the Nets. So right. I feel like he had his time, and obviously he had he had an Olympic career too. I believe he was in the 08 games. He was in the 08 and 12. He was in both. You see what happened? He was so in, yo Zach was so in shock and legitimately froze his entire computer because like that broke him. Um. Let me actually check to see what actually happened. I think it froze. Yeah, it froze. Uh, one second. Uh, leave and come back. Poor favor. so lonely I'm so alone um but more things is just, just to talk about John Wall um okay we got him back so weird um cool so yeah John Wall though um <laughs> career 19 points per game uh for the Washington Wizards uh career 20 points per game oh career 19 points per game, 9.1 assists, 4.3 rebounds. Solid re- uh, solid uh, defender, above average, if you will. Very bad three-point shooter. Well, he's, uh, kinda, t- 
he's yeah. he's, he's improved pretty bad He's, he's improved on his three point shooting, but they're like he was he used to be really bad at, at shooting the three. Um, John Wall doing the John Wall dance was everywhere in 2010. Um, if you weren't there, you, you just don't know it. Um, for this Nets squad, this Nets squad had uh, they were coming out of the um, well, this post Jason Kidd, of course. Jason Kidd is now in Dallas winning. Uh, riding high off of his his win. Uh, oh no, he has he hasn't had it. He hasn't had it yet because he would have it the next season. But this was fresh off Darren Win. I mean, fresh off of Jason Kidd. This would be um, you know fresh off the Jason. K- I mean, the, uh, the Vince Carter years, the uh, Richard Jefferson years, and and the main star for for this team was. It was Brooke Lopez. <laughs> Young Brooke Lopez. Young Brooke Lopez and, and Devin Harris. Uh, Devin Harris, I assume he'd probably do something. Was he traded here? Because this thing won 12 games. You got you to get rid of Devin Harris. Like, you got to do something with him. Um, they had Trent and Hassel also. Um, Post-Minnesota, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Anyway. That 2010 team really did win 10 12 games. 12 that games. was his, that was a historic season. I remember you could not escape that. Yeah, it like was, it was like them and the Bobcats. They had Chris Double they, they were playing a lot of CDR, Chris Douglas Roberts. Third thir, 38 38 games started with CDR. That's why they that's why they won 12 games. Uh Bobby Simmons Chris Quinn. Oh my god. Yep. Tony Bassi. Uh Oh my gosh, Terrence Williams! I remember ter- like I remember Terrence Williams um, for nothing else besides um, being in Houston. But like when I remember his his two K card, like his the way his lips, like his lips always look like too big for his face. <laughs> That's what I remember that. about <laughs> Terrence Williams. Uh, Yi Jian Lin, shout out to the seven footer from China. Um, why don't they have his Lake? I'm, I'm actually looking at his basketball reference. He was on. He was on the Lakers. Why don't they have his Lakers years? Oh, Eugene Lin. What? He was on. I remember he was on the Lakers. Was he not on the Lakers? Or am I bugging? I don't. I don't remember him being on the Lakers. Ooh. Are you sure? I'd be shocked if basketball reference had something wrong. Like. Or a player his age. Within his playing time. Was he signed to the Lakers? He was signed to the Lakers and then was released. He he never actually suited up. I he remember that, a... <laughs> Yes. He signed a one year eight million dollar contract and Yeah, he just played preseason. Okay. Cool. I was like, I remember see I remember hearing about him on the Lakers. And yeah, but um, 2016. So yeah. four years after his last NBA game, the Lakers threw eight million dollars at him. They also threw eight million dollars. The a twelve million dollars did at Timothy Mozgov at the same time. I mean, it was that big man money. It was it was that it was that TV deal money. Everybody was kind of going crazy about it. Everybody was like, "We need a big man right now." I had like thirty million dollars for two big men. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this this Nets team was bad, and, and the Wizards team wasn't great either. But something they had at the Nets team, like extra ultra, didn't have mm-hmm. was continuity. Yeah, like that Nets team looked bad. Right. That's something about the Wizards I have to say over the years, and I mean this as a compliment to John Wall, and that's why he's such a good pick here. He makes bad teams look functional. Yes. Like, they, they can win games, and even Bradley Beal, like, getting lightly exposed at certain points in the last season, like, he can score, obviously, but you see the team not doing anything, even when he's on the floor. Agreed. Like, John, John can do stuff, and... <laughs> What I like about him, <laughs> <laughs> what I like about him that he doesn't have, even though he doesn't have this 
uh, as much of this as uh, Gordon Hayward does is that he can defend from a lot of places. Like, John's not as much of an interior defender mm-hmm. as Gordon, but, like, he's a positive in a lot of ways. And Nets needed a few more positive things happening, and obviously, like like you said, like there's a lot of things that just don't happen now because Darren Williams is not going to be acquired. They are obviously going to trade in a different direction, if at all. But uh, you know, I, I wonder what he could have elevated this Nets personnel to do. Um, or if like that Brooke Lopez connection might have just been enough to be like, yeah, we're going to win like 30 games. <laughs> um, I think that with this squad especially, um, first of all, the Darren Williams trade doesn't happen. Um, here's a counterpoint. Because Wall was perceived as the number one pick. Do the Nuggets go for Mel? I mean, do the, do the Nuggets trade Mel to the Nets? Is that an enticing enough package over the uh, Wilson Chandler package for the Knicks? Hmm. Because the original trade for Melo was. Um, one second. It was, if I'm not mistaken, just off the top of my head, it was Wilson Chandler. It was uh, Chauncey Billups was coming back over. He was an expiring Gallinari, Raymond Felton. Um, Timothy Mozgov was a part of that trade. And, and a bunch of picks. So would you take um, a combination of... Uh, John Wall, the 2012 pick, the 2014 pick, um, or 2014 and 2016. You can you can give them the exact same picks. Uh, Devin Harris and Chris Humphreys. Mm. I guess if I'm the Nuggets... I'm wondering what I, because yeah, it's for and it's for for Wall. Yeah, with 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 with, with Wall for Mello. Because the, right, the Darren okay, Williams yeah. trade also included Derek Favors. Right, right, right. So so it would include in turn Wall. Yeah. Because there's no reason to make the Darren Williams trade, and if I'm remembering correctly. The Darren Williams trade was essentially uh, whoever I did, like whoever team got whatever team got Mello, that was the team I was going to go to. Um, so uh, Mello would eventually. I mean, that would mean Darren Williams would obviously go to the Knicks, but Mello. I mean, Mello Mello wants to go to New York, and Jersey's well, a hop skipping away, and eventually they would be in Brooklyn. I feel like I feel like at this that, point people knew. People knew it was happening too. Yeah, it was. It was all but confirmed. Like we already, like the stadium was already being built and everything. Like it was two seasons away. Yeah, like at this point, it had already been fully confirmed because you you need to to move a franchise. What I wonder is how the Nets, how comfortable the Nets would feeling being that thin at guard. Like, so then at that point, even though you would get Billups mm-hmm. in the trade. And Fel- uh, Felton, Felton. Well, Felton was minutes. was Felton on the no. Felton was traded to the to the Nuggets. Oh yeah. So let me see. Oh, yeah, they're getting from the Nuggets. Yeah, you're only getting Billups, as far as guards. And like, I can't see them keeping Billups because they just didn't have a substantial amount of shooting support. And like, who was the coach at the time? Uh, the was team? <laughs> Avery Johnson. I mean, Avery Johnson. <laughs> Avery Johnson was performing like very spottily. Like he was having a very rough time <laughs> being uh, a head coach. There's a lot of minutes for, for Jordan Farmer. A lot of it's like, wow, so we're gonna keep this Chris Humphreys guy around? Like just just really really pushing the limit with this Chris Humphreys. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got we got a new we got a new Al Harrington? Or is this like your new <laughs> Omar Stoudemire? This Chris Humphreys guy? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, yeah. That package is is kind of wild. Um, 
But I, I see I a lot of unhappy people. <laughs> but I specifically did not say the 2011 pick because the mm. Nets know they're still going to be bad. <laughs> right. They they yo they 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 think that they could be in the running for the Kyrie pick. They're thinking like we we could still make this work next yeah. year, right? <laughs> um, but with Melo, Melo, Chauncey Billups, and, and Brooke Lopez as a big three with whoever you pick up in the draft. Good. Yeah. Well, that could work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next pick. Next pick. Who do you have? It's, it's your pick with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, Kevin Love is is getting ready to explode for his double doubles. Uh, Ricky yes. Rubio is not here. Uh, the Timberwolves loafed on uh, both Steph Curry and uh, everything. They 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 just loafed. They missed a bunch of stuff. Um, My man Wayne. <laughs> Wayne Ellington? Or, um, no, not Wayne Ellington. Um, I was going to say, was they picked up uh, Johnny Flynn. Johnny that's, that, Flynn. That's who their, that's who their co I mean, that's who their, their, their starting guard was. They were waiting for Rubio to come over. So oh, right, that was this. That was the. I keep thinking. You know, I always remember it being like Wayne was the better pick because he just played longer. If my man Johnny Flynn was really six. Yep. Jesus. Yep. Mm-hmm. The waste is enormous. It's so uh, much waste. The original pick was Wesley Johnson. Was Wesley Johnson, and I'm looking at what the team has and needs, and. I mean, they have guards, but do they have a good guard? No. They, no. They, they've got uh, Sebastian Telfair. They've got uh, Johnny Flynn, like I said. Um, now Luke Rittenauer. Luke Rittenauer. Luke Rittenauer was really solid in 2K. Like 2K, <laughs> like 2K12, 2K13, he was a solid my GM backup guard. Luke uh, Rittenauer made a living off of, like, long twos, like, getting a bunch of shots and, like, real crap games, just being in heavily suburban markets <laughs> as a white basketball player. Seattle, <laughs> Milwaukee, Seattle. Minnesota, Minnesota, Charlotte, <laughs> Orlando, <laughs> very suburban. <laughs> Done. Hawks? No, I can't play that. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Uh, Texas, I'll burn to death. <laughs> oh, the Rockets? Uh, the Mavericks? Ma- you said Mavericks, right? No, the Rockets? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Antonio? <laughs> Depends on the day. <laughs> but um, yeah, this team was also really bad. They were 17 and 65. Well, that no, excuse me, they were 15 and 67 going in, and they were six. Uh, and they won 17 games that next season. A lot of Michael Beasley they, points for that 2011, uh, 2011 Timberwolves. It's incredible. They had they were first in strength of schedule. They mm-hmm. had the hardest schedule in the league. Uh, or does that mean you have the, the weakest? Strongest, right? Weakest. Strongest. Sure. Oh no! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's it's a uh, number. <laughs> it was either it was something, wasn't? It? <laughs> is it and below? It, all right, so below zero is a better a better uh, a better schedule. So if you have a, a number lower than zero, so if you have a negative schedule, it's a better schedule. If you have a pod, like the the closer you are to zero, the more favorable your schedule will be. And they really did have the hardest schedule in the league because they were so bad. <laughs> it was that hard for him to the, for them to play an NBA game. Yep. That's so sad. All right, <laughs> let's move. But yeah, let me make let me let me make my uh, dissertation here. So they need a guard, and honestly, there's literally no difference between any guard that they already had, and that includes Wesley Johnson and like guards they had before. So I'm going to say maybe the move is just going 
in an entirely different direction. So no guard at all? Just not even getting guard. Okay. Picking DeMarcus Cousins. Boogie! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this team, and at a certain point, I'm gonna ha- I'm having the the realization that um, Kurt Rambis and David Kahn didn't have, which is like, I don't think that we can get a good guard. Like, I don't think we're capable of getting a good guard. So let's double and triple down. We don't have that complete a structure at the center. We have uh, Pekovic coming in. We have guys like Milic, Ofo. Dark, Darko? <laughs> More minutes for Darko? It's, it's a lot of minutes, minutes for Darko. <laughs> oh, you're still playing Darko? Yeah, yeah. I, like, you have guys, but, like, come on. Look, look, look what we're dealing with here. Like, it's, it's the, I think something about the volume and that Kevin was playing, like, also kind of the five but he's not aggressive enough to be a true center he's a power forward he's just yeah. big shoots long like that's just the way it goes so you need a guy that could take the hell over and you need a guy that's just gonna literally fist fight kurt rambis and that's <laughs> i uh, and I, honestly i would see a kurt i would love to see a kurt rambis demarcus cousins fight like almost got one according to this redraft <laughs> um my only question is, who are you stopping as far as defense? But then again, you got Wesley Johnson, and therefore, like, DeMarcus Cousins is a better pick. The team has more defense than it would have had by proxy if I picked a taller person. Fair enough. <laughs> I picked a bigger person. That's that's fair. Um, I don't really have much else. Like, that's a solid pick. I mean, like, if you're, if, if you're going best player available on this board... Yeah, I'd go. I go to my choice. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking. I'm, I'm literally looking at at my big board. I'm looking at at everything. I'm like, yep, that sounds solid. That's that's about. So I'm looking too. Like, if we really had to pick a guard, we have a couple guards here, right? We got Avery. We got, kind, you know, Lance at the time. Like, you know, you can make anybody at that size. Like, could do the two three thing. Um. Yeah, Eric, but I'm talking like you can't build the most you can build around as far as those three guys is Lance because he's moldable. You know, yeah. like you, he, he's malleable. He, you can make something work. These other two guys are, are just, you know, Avery's not that defender yet. So it's, I feel it's like Avery is. I feel like Avery is that defender right now. I feel like his offensive game isn't going to come in yet. I feel like that's not ready yet feel like the mixed messaging and how much that environment's gonna hurt him defensively is gonna fry his brain. Fair. That's fair. Um, because he was at, where was he at? He was at Texas when he went, but he was the number one high school player, so I mean, honestly mm-hmm. I feel like the Timberwolves pick is, is, is Boogie Cousins. I don't really have any objection to that. Uh, because again, like, when you look at the after, after the top four, there is a big drop off. <laughs> Right. This is all very different. The rest of this. Life. Yeah. This is this is, this is gonna get real rough now. Like, I'm gonna have to swing around and look at Hassan Whiteside a couple of times and be like, Do I want to pick him? Am I? Am I, am I sure? Front in the list now. Like, I'm like, oof. He's not front in the list for me at least. I'm like, I'm not grafting him. At least with the fifth pick. Even though he was originally taken by Sacramento in the second round, but he's not getting picked up by me here, not yet. It's too early. All right, so let's look at this Sacramento roster and let's see what what type of dumpster fire this this was a, a dumpster fire team. I need everybody to realize this. Like Tyreek Evans won Rookie of the Year because this team was such a dumpster fire. <laughs> it wasn't he lucked out on that? Like this team was not good. Um. Really? struggling no shooting uh a lot of young players if i remember correctly yep you got a whole lot of uh all right so for the 2009-2010 team you've got uh rookie jason thompson that's who they picked uh tyreek evans who's also a rookie that was their that was their other first round pick uh hilton armstrong i i haven't heard that name in years uh, Kevin Martin was 
still playing. He would leave this season to go to, was it Minnesota or was it Houston? No, it was Houston. He went to Houston. Um, Francisco Garcia, who always looked like he was like 42. <laughs> Francisco yeah. Garcia, like at, at 24, looked 32. Man got installed with the extra wrinkles he, <laughs> on all the baseline. <laughs> he 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 came over as a as a, a dad uh, of teenage children. He was a sitcom dad. In, <laughs> in at the age of twenty four. <laughs> at the age of twenty four. Coming over from the Dominican Republic. Um let me see. Yes, yeah, Sean Sean May. Oh my gosh. Sean May was still getting May. looks in this league. M.A. Udoka siding, though. Yeah. One of our newest head coaches in the league. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Uh, Desmond Mason. Desmond Mason was still getting a check. And Desmond, Desmond Mason somehow, some way, has uh, had managed to convince people that he was a better shooter than he was anything else. What's going on, Roy226? Um, yeah, that, 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 he, it was his last season, though. Um, four starts in the five game. <laughs> Let's see where are we at. Who we have now? Um, oh my gosh. Let me look at let me look at this twenty ten. Because Carl Landry was getting minutes, and I don't know how I feel about that either. I don't. I you, don't. You, you think of how little minutes these guys would get anywhere else and did get anywhere else. Um, I don't know if you have any game changer talent here. Um, <laughs> it's a big, it's a big drop, it's a big drop off. You gotta think about <sighs> gonna be the guy somehow, some way for like two or three seasons. Like they're just gonna start. Who can step up? And really make the effort to be the guy. Because that Kings team needed a guy. And they had Tyreek, but like, who would be willing to be like, I'm gonna stand next to this guy, take 15 shots, or like, try to put up like, you know, 14, like 11, and some crap, and just do it? I feel like. Is he up here? (laughs) I, I feel like Lance Stevenson is that answer, but like I feel like also Indiana is so instrumental to his development. Like I would never put Lance Stevenson in Sacramento. Like that's that's like the worst place for him to go, man. He's out of the league in a year and a half. <laughs> I need somebody with like some sort of foundation. Um, mm. mm-hmm. I'm gonna put Derek Favors here. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, this is really, really, this is legitimately one of those things where it's like I don't know what we're doing here. Sacramento doesn't know what we're doing here. He is legitimately the only type of player. I thought about Eric Bledsoe. I honestly did. Right. Um, Eric Bledsoe probably probably would take uh, about four. Will add about three or four years to. Tyreek Evans' career, just because he's a legit point guard, and uh, they were literally putting him in any and every position during that between 2011 and 2013. Well, between 20, 2009 and 2011, they had him playing point guard, shooting guard, small forward, uh, GM, front office rep. They had him playing every position they they possibly could put him at. That wasn't a, a big man position. And I feel like with a legitimate point guard, that would um, that would help them out. I thought about Greg Monroe also, but Greg Monroe, I mean, he doesn't, he's not, uh, Greg Monroe is, he's a player. Not good. No, no, no. <laughs> you were going to say it, and then you were just like, I have an NBA thing. You know, I should be nice to people. I don't care. He's He's not good. No, it's not even that he's not good. It's that, <laughs> like, at the end of the day, even though it was the Pistons, he still was a 16-point-per-game scorer. Like, he, he could get buckets. He just he did, I, he didn't play defense, and at least DeMarcus Cousins was going to get you 
uh, buckets and 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 at least argue he'll flush to some players and he'll, he'll <laughs> he, he was willing to expand his game out to a three point line. Greg Monroe is good in the way that like you can be really good at two K if you made like an all season where like <laughs> you just put everybody down to mm-hmm. like seventy one. Yeah, and like that's he's it. like an eighty nine or a ninety three <laughs> because. It, it, we ha- we might be post this era, or I, I believe we are, but like there was a time where you could just float by a bad team in a bad division and just put up like 16 11. That's what, de- that's, that's what, he, that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> and then the league was like, okay, you, if you're going to do that, you're also going to be able to shoot threes. And he was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. And he's like, wow, wow. You're going to do me like that? <laughs> like, why, would you, why would you do that to me? How how are you gonna do that to me? How would you how would you do that to me? Nah, him and Andre Drummond did the rock paper scissors. Who gets to stay? <laughs> and I think you know who won. <laughs> Honestly, it was a better move to play Drummond because at least Drummond was gonna play defense. Drummond did like playing specifically on ball man defense, right? Which is, I guess, something. Honestly, though, I I did legitimately think about taking. Eric Bledsoe, though, like Eric Bledsoe, even as I'm looking at it, he probably would have been better in the long term. But I mean, Jason Thompson, he wasn't good either. Like the the, the Kings just didn't have anybody good. But at least you can kind of slide him in at the center position instead of taking Demarcus Cousins the year after, who was also a center. At least you have some form of like I don't know like positioning. You could play Carl Landry off the bench as the undersized four. Figure out what you've got there. At rebounding, that's yeah. something legitimately like that. That's a direct. That's like an a, a positive direction of going. Like they're trying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can do. You can do that. Um, I mean yeah. his like Demar. I mean uh, Derek favors his first couple seasons. Like, the reason why they gave up on the Al Jefferson, Paul Millsap experiment was because of uh, that season. Like, coming off the bench, he was uh, 9-7.1. and 7.1. So, they figured, hey, if we give him maybe, like, another 8 or 9 minutes a game and have him starting, he can get us 13-13. and 13. Um, They were wrong. But it's nice, nice try to try to think outside the box. Um, I, yeah, I, we, we, we spent the, we spent entirely too much time talking about Derek Favors, uh, because, <laughs> um, he is now currently on his, uh, fourth team, fourth team. He's currently on his fourth team and just got traded again to the, no, I mean, to the OKC Thunder. I was going to say New Orleans Pelicans again, because you asked what we all thought he was going back to. <laughs> <laughs> we kept getting confused. Mm-hmm. All right, you got the number six pick um, for the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors who so, have Steph Curry, Monte Ellis, and Andrew Bogut. Yeah, so the Warriors with this pick, uh, who did they get? Yeah, was they it got, uh, Akpedo, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and believe he didn't. He stayed there what, like three or four seasons. He was gone before they won the championship. <laughs> I got traded in the middle of the next season. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was out of the league by 2019. He was, uh, a, he was in Milwaukee for a time, right? Yeah, he was in Milwaukee for like a season. Mm-hmm. That was like uh, a little before they drafted Giannis, I think. No, he was actually there. I just looked it up. He was there for three seasons, and he was there for, for Giannis's rookie season. Ah, interesting. Um... They have very bright future within this roster. It's like very interesting to see certain things they had mm-hmm. and certain things they would give up so easily. Like David Lee had been there for five years, and they was, was try they were trying to rebuild around him and a couple other people. Had a lot D- Daryl Wright had Mata Ellis. That they you know had a sophomore Steph Curry like you could see them trying to formulate some sort of shooting based 
like very high octane offense here, like mm-hmm. the very very precipice of the motion that would arise here. Um, so well, I want to see if we can support that with what's left. Like, what what can we throw in here that can really provide what they need? And where I see they're especially weak, it's the small forward yet again. I think I want guy who isn't as good as John Wall. Do I want the guy at, if he went to the Kings probably would not have made in the league. <laughs> um, I have to say for this specific instance I'm gonna go with Evan Turner. Oh. I thought that you were actually going to go with uh, Al Farouk Aminu, who would at least <laughs> provide you with defensive presence. He'd have been a solid defender for the Warriors. I agree uh, with that. Evan Turner. Evan Turner looks no. like... Uh, the reason why he failed in the league is because he came in the, with those glasses. That's legitimately why he, he failed in the league. He, he came in like uh, he was going to take a school picture, his senior school picture at that. He thought that he was going to be uh, taking high school pictures for his football team. <laughs> um... I don't know. I, I, I'm just roasting him off the top of my head. But uh, Evan Turner, solid player. He definitely stuck in the league a lot longer than I thought he would. Like, I legitimately thought that he was going to play him out. Evan Turner looks like he has to lie in the club and tell people he's Chris Red from SNL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like now, he... I'll tell you why I picked him. <laughs> <laughs> uh this isn't even just hyperbole. Evan Turner, the ability to like get into an offense or a defense and like a system is much better mm-hmm. than Lance's. I think Lance has to like have a certain amount of desire, has to be in the right environment. The things that were coming up for the Warriors would have been nuclear for a guy like Lance. Yeah, I would I not want I him agree. there. I don't, and I, I just. You think about that, right? Yeah, I don't... I don't like, they already had Montellus. Do you really want to add Lance Stevenson to that equation? Mark in a young Lance Stevenson's ear. <laughs> Making a Mark, murder. Mark Jackson, too, on top of that? Oh, my... Oh, God. I wish they made hard knocks back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, yeah. He would have flamed out so hard. Oh, but I think there's a lot of potential here to to make Evan really thrive in that motion. You know, Ohio State's about a lot about zone. Mm-hmm. And they really believe in that over there, and I think it gives him those tools. And also, like I don't, I think he just got a bad rap, and he ended up at a horrible in a horrible situation. Like by the time he was older, and in places like Boston and um, Portland, when he did get minutes, he could contribute. And I think if his profile was a little different in a place that championed shooting and shot selection, Kevin has a chance. I like that. I like that in, I like that analysis. Uh, I think that, yes, Golden State would probably be, probably be a better place for him also just because he wouldn't have the pressure to be number two pick. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got guys like Steph Curry. Even though Steph Curry was still injury prone, you've got guys like David Lee who's going to take a large majority of the scoring load. Monty Ellis, Andrew Bogut's going to be your guy inside. Like you just have to slot in and essentially be Harrison Barnes 1.0. Absolutely, you have to come in there and do what needs to get done. It's a big part of why Evan was such a hot pick for College Player of the Year. Everybody was like, "This guy's got all the tools. He's a he's a number one. Is uh, a first overall candidate." And like, obviously, it wasn't going to be him. It was going to be John. Right. But there, the argument was, "Is Evan more ready because he's a complete player?" The answer was no. But that's a fun thought. I about to say, like, I mean, you live and you learn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you live and you learn. I mean, it's just it's just one day at a time. Yep. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, seventh pick is yours. <laughs> I'm going to actually have to get into my mic real quick. Uh, with the seventh pick, the Detroit Pistons, uh, 
I no, all right. So I'm I'm not gonna do that to them. Let's look at this roster real quick. I was because I was just gonna pick Greg Monroe all over again. I really was. I promise you, I was. I was just gonna pick the <laughs> the exact same player they had after all the stuff we just talked about. <laughs> Um, let's look at this roster, this 2009 roster. Oh, oof. Can't be good. I throw up a little bit in my mouth when looking at this roster. The 2009 <sighs> roster, that's what, 27 games? <gasps> what is all this stuff? All right, I'm just going to read off this roster, and it's legitimately the NBA basketball equivalent of Florida Man. The um, longer you read it, the worse it gets. Uh, at the point guard, you had Rodney Stuckey, Will Bynum, Chucky Atkins. At the shooting guard, you had Richard Hamilton and Ben Gordon. At the small forward, you had Dewan Summers and Tayshawn Prince with Austin Day as a backup. At the four, you had Chris Wilcox, Charlie Villanueva, Charlie Villanueva Jonas Repko. And at the five, you had Ben Wallace, Jace, Ben Wallace, who is not... Big Ben, early 2000s Big Ben. You have late 2000s Big Ben. Already made his stop in Chicago, Big Ben. Uh, Jason Maxiel and Kwame Brown. What is this roster? Who's... We said this this last year. How did they get to 100 points? They didn't. They got to 94. (laughs) (laughs) They got to 94. (laughs) Um, we need somebody who's going to get them, uh, points. Where's, they need everything. They, they need a complete, uh, retooling. Uh, oh my gosh. Rodney Stuckey and Will Bynum are your young guards. Do you believe in them? I don't think they believe in themselves. Are you willing to die for these Christians? (laughs) (laughs) I'll put I'll, I'll put myself on the cross for Chucky Ad Kids right now. I swear. Oh my gosh. Um, for what this thirty-one-year-old Chucky Atkins? You mean this guy? Oh, that's gross. Bro. All right. Uh, gall. The gall of you to say Dewan Summers on stream. This entire roster is an entire just dumpster fire upon dumpster fire. I fix it. Uh, <laughs> uh, can can I can I fix it? Is there a fix for it? You fix it. I don't. I don't want it. I really don't. You, you fix it. But uh, I'm gonna draft Eric Bledsoe. I'm sorry. He's just somebody had to go here. It's you, Eric. That's a, that's a great listen. As far as point guards go, they just. St- they just combined the three they have, and now they have one. Like, <laughs> they have one solid point guard. They now have one above certain. Like, Eric's had good seasons. Mm-hmm. He can't particularly pass, but, like, he's ball capable. He can handle. So, like, yeah. He's also sure. a really above average defender. Um, he's crazy athletic. Like, he works. If he's engaged, he will work. He works. He does work. Especially younger Eric Blesser, like, on those Clippers teams, like he was kind of crazy. Um, he was one everybody of my was shocked of the, what was happening with the Suns because they were like that half season with the Suns when he was still with uh, Dragic and Thomas, like they were out the running all over the place. Yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say because the Pistons are like a complete dumpster fire. But um, yeah, you're gonna get an athletic player who is going to uh, play some defense. He's a two way player. And he, you need to you need somebody to help you get to 100 points. Your best option right now is Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, you really, really need to get a guy who can like do something with the ball in his hands. You don't have a point guard. You have three people that say they play point guard on your team. <laughs> None of them are actually a point guard. I see this. I see two point guards. No, I see two point guards and my god, Chucky Atkinson, but unfortunately, they can't play. <laughs> I don't, yeah, like, it's just, it's, it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> Who was, I feel like, like, legitimately, like, not even joking, like, Joe Dumars, by this point, was a part of championship rosters, 
built a championship roster, and somehow, some way, he filled this out. Are you insinuating that Hall of Famer Joe Dumars was trying to get himself fired? That's exactly what I'm insinuating. <laughs> I'm in, like, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm insinu- insinuating all of that. Are you insinuating that because of the same thing we just talked about, where you basically <laughs> are guaranteed a contract as long as you show up in suits and get fired? <laughs> you want to get fired? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> I'm saying it with my entire chest, too. Like... <laughs> don't disagree with that so i just this, this, feel... this, this is a man who 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 used to get on the phone and have another phone in his ear he used to have two phones getting ready to try to make some trades he pulled off the rasheed wallace trade took a flyer on sheed and made that work and you're gonna field out this team with lawrence frank as your coach i have nothing else to say Future former magic legend. Future former magic legend. Lawrence Frank. It's a lot of magic playing Rodney Stuckey there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go on like a quick like two minute break. No, not even like maybe like a thirty second break. Uh, cause we we reached half the draft and we've been talking for almost an hour and a half. And then we're going to run through these last eight, uh, these last picks because, again, it's not going to look really good after this. Like, we I- had the fun portion. <clears throat> now we're going to have the make fun portion. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm going to actually have to, uh, gonna, yeah, yeah I'm, we're going to have to make this a little bit more fun. So, uh, yes. Let's take a quick break, guys.
but It's very rare that it smells nice. Coming back. So, yeah, now we've got the second half of the draft. And when I tell you that it's going to get really shaky, we absolutely mean it. Uh, guys left on the board. If you're looking at the original draft, you've got, um, in the order that they were drafted, of course, you've got guys like Wesley Johnson, Ekpe Udo, uh, Greg Monroe, Alfaru Camino. Cole Aldridge, Xavier Henry, Ed Davis, Patrick Patterson, and that's your top 14. Um, if you're looking at the guys we have on the board, you also have guys like Avery Bradley, Lance Stevenson, and Hassan Whiteside. It gets very bleak very quickly. So I finished with the seventh pick. Now you've got the eighth pick. Uh, Zach, bringing it back in. Ow. Um... Let's pull up this Clippers roster. 32 and 50, not bad. You also have an incoming um, Blake Griffin. You do have an incoming Blake Griffin, and you have Baron Davis here. You have Mo Williams here. We have a young DeAndre Jordan here. We have Chris K. Like, there's pieces, you know. I, I can see with Vinny Del Negro as coach, the imagination might have been a bit limited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I see structure so you have to wonder that or you have to think that they they really are looking to kind of double down on their size mm -hmm. and they, they want to open up the floor maybe get a bit more length in certain position uh i think they i think they did it i think it's alpha rukuminu that's a fair pick i honestly probably would have picked them up right here as well Al Farouk Amino is one of those players um, who I kept, again, I said it at the start of the draft. He's one of those guys where it's like, I kept thinking, oh, he's got an extra gear to hit and he's going to be really great. Um, I, I mean, he's still in the league now to this day. Um, career averages of seven and a half points, uh, six rebounds, and... Uh, steal and 1.2 assists. He's a solid three. Like he's not going to give you any all-star type of numbers at all. He was a part of the Chris Paul trade, of course. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I like him. And then you also have Eric Gordon still playing, and Gord Eric Gordon is going to be hooping, hooping um, until he goes down with injury. Um, I like this. I like that pick there. Alternatively, I would have taken. Because uh, DeAndre Jordan would have been a rookie, right? Right. No, he would have been a sophomore. He's taking an 08? Uh, yeah. Huh. I don't know why I thought he was taking an 09. But, uh, yeah, he was taking an 09. Uh, well, yeah, he was taking an... 08. Yeah, he was... No, he was taking, he was taking in... Oh, yeah, 08. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. In 08. Yeah. In 08. Um, but I was... Uh, well... I was thinking, I don't know, for whatever reason, I thought he was going to be taken in the year before that, like 09. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say you take a flyer on Hassan Whiteside and basically put the two of them together and see which one turns out to be the better player for Blake Griffin. The answer is still DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> but Hassan but Whiteside is at least somebody that you can you can flirt around with and see what, what you do with him. Yeah. Um, same thing with Larry Sanders, for that matter. Um, yeah, I, I like that pick. I don't really have any qualms about the Alfred Camino pick. I actually had Alfred Camino being taken right here as well. 
Uh, solid player. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't, I, that, that's, that's it. That's all I have for him. Um, of course, because Al Farouk Aminu is taken at this position and nothing changes, you still go through with the Chris Paul trade also completely as, as uh, without any hitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that happens the very next season when he goes to New Orleans and then he goes on a wild wind journeyman career. Yeah. And he starts becoming a, you know, early, early versions of a ring chaser where you still have to do all the work. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the pick at eight. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, John Wall is, I mean, excuse me, um, Blake Griffin is still probably going to win rookie of the year. Like, this, this, is a, a, this is a net zero pick because he's going to do exactly the same things that he's going to do. Uh, with L- we saw exactly what's going to happen. His career doesn't have any different trajectory or anything. Um, yeah, it's a solid pick. Solid pick at eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so let's look at this 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 Jazz team that now no longer has Derek Favors, um, but now has John Wall, or will possibly eventually get John Wall. Um, mm-hmm. Don't have Gordon Hayward though, who's who's really who you miss. Yes. You now need a three. Karolinko is getting older. You have to think about it like this, too. A lot of the bigs are either getting older or prime age. So you got to think, who are, if, if it, it's, it's who are we keeping, and then what are we going to build around via this draft? Um, that's fair. That's, that's entirely fair. Um, let me look at the last season roster. Uh, Carlos Boozer was still on the roster. He would eventually go to Chicago the next season. Uh, Ronnie Brewer, the same thing. Kyle Korver, the same thing. Uh, CJ Miles goes to Indiana. I don't know. He goes to, he makes a stop at Cleveland uh, the next season and then goes to Indiana. Uh, Wesley Matthews. Uh, would be going, getting ready to go to Portland. Honestly, they should probably keep Wesley Matthews um, because he eventually turns into a scorer. Um, Cindy oh, yeah. Ada Gaines really went on a whole whirlwind tour over this. Like, for him to have, like, not even been, like, a really good player. Like, he was on four different teams that we talked about this thus far. Really? He was on Utah. He was on Minnesota. He was also oh. on the Nets. He played That's for... Incredible. He played for Minnesota, Toronto, and the Nets all in the same season. What a guy. Yep. Um, this guy literally couldn't stay on a team for more than, like, 10 games. Nope. <laughs> um, so... We already know that the seeds are being sown for the Darren Williams trade to happen. Jerry Sloan is already on the way out. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with... I'm going to take Avery Bradley here. Okay. Uh, okay, I I like that. I really do like that. Uh, it's going to be a precursor to... Um, well, you're not going to get Gordon Hayward, so you're going to miss out on a lot of the scoring. Avery Badley, at worst, is still going to be a solid defender. You're going to still need a two. Raja Bell is not going to give you those minutes. He's going to retire this season. Um, at least at the, at the very worst... Avery Bradley can pair alongside Darren Williams as his undersized backcourt, and you have him like like that for 50 games, and then you kind of have like that tutelage around him. Um, then you build him, uh, build around him, uh, Al, Jeff- Al Jefferson, Paul Millsap, and Andre Kirilenko. That's kind of like your your core, uh, like just to just to help him learn, like just to just to teach him, like to be his vets. Um, he, he he's 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 gonna he's gonna learn because like that Boston team was, uh, not the best place for him. Like obviously they had a lot of the veterans and they were coming off a championship t- uh, season, but I feel like 
they expected him. They, there's no there's no pressure for him to step in and be a number number one pick. Chicago, uh, not Chicago. Uh, the Boston development. I, I like that that comment because I find it's very interesting how they develop. If you're not like immediately ready to get into like a serious like high minutes like high obligation role, there's not as much opportunity for you to get anything in. And yeah. like, because Tatum, Brown, Marcus Smart, ultra aggressive players. They, they're then, insistent. But then you have on the flip side, Jared Selinger, uh, Kelly Olynyk. Um, I'm trying to think on who else they they picked that just kind of completely flamed out just because they did not Fab. have that same. They had Fab, right? Fab Mello, yep. Yep. Same thing. Just all guys that aren't quite as aggressive and flame out. Absolutely, I agree. Um, yeah, I, and and I think that. Again, without the pressure, and he has the, t- the chance to learn. He'll be, if not the starter, so he can even he can even learn from a guy who effectively is his. Uh, he could be his floor, Raja Bell. Raja Bell could be Avery Bradley's floor wholeheartedly, especially if he has the chance to learn from him. I think this is a really good learning experience for Avery Bradley. I think that's a solid place to put him. I, that I, there, there's a there's a big story there. I think mm-hmm. that's a great pick. I I like it. Okay. So number ten. Number ten. All we actually right. we actually blazed right through this. I thought it was gonna take us a lot longer, but then again, it's like not really much to say about the rest of the roster. Or about the rest yeah. of the draft. And the, the, the there's not as much impact coming in right. anymore. You know? One of the picks was just the pick. So <laughs> you know, like we're just there. <laughs> um Right, so this 2010-2011 team, let's talk a little more about what the Pacers came into at that point. So they had just acquired Paul George, mm-hmm. and uh, so it was Paul George with this pick. Right. Can't do that anymore. No, you cannot. And they they would get Lance Stevenson with, with the, the 40th, 40th pick. pick. Yep, second round pick. So, I mean, get, based on what we're doing here, they're not going to be able to do that. So we have to think, if we're prioritizing talent right now, what do they need? They don't have a power forward. They have a couple young guys, mm-hmm. but they don't have a real power forward that they know they're going to have yet. Uh, have you, to... you also have to take into account Danny Granger is going to is already breaking down and will break down further. The, the, the hillside... Or the cliff on that hillside, it doesn't stop. No. The, the decline will be so rapid, it will be like falling through the earth. Agreed. Yeah. Um, and they have older people at position at, in places where you really are hurting to have a veteran that can play a lot. And like Jeff Foster and James Posey are on the wrong side of their 11th year. Um, <laughs> <so> you- <laughs> So you're you're looking at who's left. Um, you got McBob. You got Josh McRoberts. <laughs> you got Josh McRoberts. And, you and, do have Josh McRoberts, yeah. And I guess you could slide him over to the center if it really had to come down to that. And he played some some really high caliber basketball. I showed Jeff Foster. Let me be a little more respectful, but you are still getting a bit older in some places. Right. Like I agree. you got to start making the change, even if things are okay now. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. I feel like with what you're going to end up getting and with how much rain <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying nice things with how much more <laughs> I know I, I have an idea where you're going with it <laughs> and that is not the correct term to describe that player <laughs> I was like we're already having this like weird conniption <laughs> <laughs> with a more with a more uh, seeable range of production that you should get. I feel like maybe <laughs> I'll take Hassan White's side here. Mm, that's exactly what I thought you were going with, and I was like, that is not the right term to describe this man. <laughs> it was like range. Range? Range? <laughs> it immediately, st- my body started rejecting it. Like when you say something wrong on a date, and you're like, "I can never take this." No, nope, that's that. it. Said it out loud. Range. <laughs> I was like, "I don't, uh, I don't know about that one, Chief." 
I feel like there's just not there's not a lot of um, building left here. Right? All right. So here's <laughs> my thing, though. Okay. Um, I would. I actually also thought you were gonna go with Greg Monroe. Greg Monroe was actually my first idea that you. Would, I thought you were gonna go with. Um, yeah. simply because I, they already have Roy Hibbert. Mm. And, uh, neither one of those players are shooters. True. Um, so I feel like that's gotta be a draft and trade pick. Um, if that was an option, I also thought you were actually going to go with the, just, just picking up Lance just as a first round pick. Um, he still has the same development. He still does everything he does, but he doesn't have Paul George in front of him now. That's so true. Hmm. Um, Damn. I mean, I, I will stick to it because I personally think that even though Hassan has had all these horrible career developments, a lot of his bl- plights seem to come from this uh, perception or this publicly known insistence that he's underpaid, unrespected, this and that. This puts him in a position where he has to now entirely reframe his career development, and now mm-hmm. he's like, a lottery pick so maybe having to meet these expectations and in an environment that's pretty good like this is a stable environment i have nothing bad to say about the pacers at this interval but no. it's it's challenging what's ahead of them so i don't know like hassan raw was pretty good but this is not hassan raw you like this is he's still three years away from three years being three years away but as a mental side note because i just noticed this Shout out to Texas for getting back-to-back picks. Xavier Bradley wow. and Hassan Whiteside both went to the University of Texas. Go Very Longhorns. Nice. Very nice. Um, I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, as, as, as the number 10 pick, he can't just go overseas. Like, that's that's a number 10 pick. <laughs> right. He's, he, yeah. You're going to have to have him be good. And I don't know what you're doing with him and Roy Hibbert at the same time, but, like... Especially All with right. the way that the, that that twenty tens basketball is going to explode, uh, I'm not sure about that one. But you got it. You're sticking to it. <laughs> I really like it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so twenty. Let me see. Number eleven. Who was originally taken? Oh, Cole my ooh, ooh. Cole Aldridge. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Uh oh, really? <laughs> really, really I about to say Cole Aldridge and Xavier Henry, and I'm like, oh my gosh! Back to back Kansas picks <laughs> looking Can- real different than the back to back Texas pick. <laughs> yeah, Kansas really, really tricked them into thinking that both of those were good players. Shout out to the development over at Kansas, like yo, Bill Self was like, I'm gonna take all my talent back. <laughs> Graduating. <laughs> um. Oh. He, I remember there was a this was a draft day trade to the Thunder, um, and uh, uh, mm, uh, mm. let's look at the tenth. Let's look at the tenth uh, twenty ten roster. Uh, you still were getting some uh, some Mecca Okafor. This is Chris Paul's uh, last full season with the with the team. Uh, well, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Two, no, no. 2009 is... 2009 is not. 2010, 2010 2011 is. But, um, right, yeah. That's what I thought you were referring yeah. to. Uh, Peter Stoyakovich is still on the roster in going into 2010. Uh, Sean Marks is still still playing basketball. <laughs> he has not <laughs> evolved into <laughs> an executive. He has, he's not gotten to that point yet. He's just a guy he, on a team. Yep. Yeah. Uh, getting a lot of Aaron Gray here. A lot of Aaron Gray. <laughs> uh, Darren Collison, he would eventually get signed by Indiana. Um, Marcus Thornton, who would eventually go to Sacramento. Huh. Morris Peterson. You saw the young pieces, right? <laughs> yeah, Julian Wright and Marcus Thornton just... I mean, you're building yeah. around with Chris Paul, Emeka Okafor, and David West, which is solid. Um, yeah. 
that next year they actually made the playoffs. They lost to the Lakers. Um, with a team that's uh, much more suited for basketball. That, 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 this, this roster is much more suited to ba- play basketball than the last year roster was. With that being said, uh, shout, out to, shout out to Patrick Ewing Jr. for being on that roster. On the year before? No, no, on the 2011 roster. Oh, yeah, I see him. Patrick Ewing. Um, all right, let's see. Your leading scorer. All right, so you're pretty set at, at, at most positions. David West, Chris Paul, Trevor Reza, uh, Emeka Okafor. That's your one, your four, your five. Uh, Trevor Reza, your three. Uh, Marco Bellinelli. Shout out Marco Bellinelli. Thank God. <laughs> um, that's gonna be your two, so you're gonna need a three. I don't like any of the threes here. Um, do you just do I just <sighs> draft talent? It's talent, you know. Just it's, it's kind of ranked, I guess. So here's here's my conundrum. I could go Lance Stevenson, and Lance Stevenson would be a great development piece for. Uh, to, to, to learn from, from Chris Paul. Um, and, like, they played together on the Clippers for a season, so I know that they don't have much beef. Here's the issue. What happens after Chris Paul gets traded? Lance Stevenson goes straight in the shitter. <laughs> that, enti- oh that, that entire development is gone. Um, my man is having uh, work lunches with... Stoyakovich. <laughs> no, Stoyakovich goes to Dallas. He goes to Dallas the next season. Because oh, he, he wins his ring. <laughs> Yo, he's doomed. Yeah. yeah he, goes, he, he wins his ring with Dallas, so he's not even on that 2010 team. Um, oh, my, oh, my gosh. We're all learning something about Lance. Huh, and I can't I can't take Greg Monroe because David West is the, be like yo it's the same thing, <laughs> except Greg, except uh, David West is a lot better of a player. So I, I and and I and I just want to say this very quickly because I want to make sure Spidey uh, or, or you know Matt Roberts can get to his pick. I did this intentionally. I wanted to make sure that Lance doesn't go to Indiana because unfortunately, uh, this has to be chaotic and. It would just be too nice to see him stay in his home. I don't. I don't like this this level of chaos that you've chosen. Yeah, and I chose Hassan, and then I said all that stuff about him to upset you. So now make the pick. <sighs> <laughs> you've left me with a bunch of fives, and that's a that's not a position that they need. <laughs> you left me with a bunch of big men and Lan- a big man and Lance, and they need none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, none of that. Oh my gosh, I'm taking Larry Sanders. Fight me about it. <laughs> Fight me about it. I'm not. I'm not subjecting Lance to that. I'm gonna get <laughs> three really solid seasons from Larry Sanders, and then he's gonna have his mental health breakdown, and and that's gonna be the end of it. Um, he's How pain, does he's painting the stretch? That. How does the stretch of Larry's contract affect? <laughs> New Orleans. Um, I mean, they don't really care because they still have the brow coming in. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, matter of fact, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't. You, you still got to take the brow two seasons from now. So, like, I can't. You legitimately cannot draft any other position outside <laughs> of Larry, like either Larry Sanders or Lance Stevenson, and you got nothing but threes. So, I don't know what you're gonna do with. Any of these rosters, I know I'm gonna. I, like Lance is gonna get selected. He's gonna get selected. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, between what's left, he's gotta get selected. But uh, okay. yeah, he wasn't going to. He wasn't going to New Orleans. I wasn't gonna. It it would not have been a great place for him. Um, whole roster are blown up. Also, New Orleans doesn't get the number one pick if Lance Stevenson is your main guy, because he will legitimately will them to, like, more get, more wins than they really needed to get. He's going to figure out the number of wins for them to be, like, third to last, and he's going to get that many. 
got to yeah. take that. He plays them out of the first pick for like two seasons, <laughs> and then just is like, I hate basketball. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Go to China, and <laughs> they treat me nice over there. <laughs> Um, yeah, Larry right. Sanders was actually really solid, though. Like, as a player, like, I remember uh, the pose branding Jennings Lake uh, Bucks, and I was like, yo, we may have something here. And that was the year that they also decided to draft length on length on length. So, like, John Henson was also picked up, and then after that, they got Giannis, of course. Uh, Thon Maker was taken by them. Like, they were on a real length trip. Uh, yeah. It didn't really work out for them the best, but they got themselves a championship this year. So it was all long-term booking from here on out. That's what it was. It was just a very, very calculated play by management yes. to get that eventual championship. Agreed. Um, I guess we could move on. We can move on. You got the number 12 pick, the Memphis Grizzlies, who uh, are a year away from being the most... A uh, gritty team that we saw in the 2010s. Oh, yeah. One of the most aggressive teams. We want to talk about aggressive. We talk about aggressive. But you can't, yeah. but like, there's no space for, for Lance Stevenson either because uh, you've got OJ Mayo, you've got Rudy Gay. You got to mm-hmm. play him at the He's... point against, uh, with Mike Conley. Um... That, mm, mm. But then again, like, at this point, like, it becomes very top-heavy. Like, there, there isn't much in the way of, like, picks. Like, you're, yeah. you're, you're, str- this you're struggling. This point, then based on, like, specific positional needs, like, I need a backup this, or, like, I'm, I need somebody to fill in minutes in, in these two positions and play, like, a cross or, like, you know, like, a power. Um, but looking here, like, this team was was looking really nice going into 2010 2011 and they would win mm-hmm. 46 games they Lionel Hans was the coach like you don't you're not asking for a lot of things here uh let's think about a gamble let's think about what's the gamble personally in Memphis Lance isn't the gamble because of minutes nope Lance can't Lance it's the minutes you cannot Lance yeah. Um, we have Greg, Greg Patrick, mm-hmm. and we have uh, Ed Davis. Yeah. Who's the, Ed Davis. Yeah. Right. 13, our original 13th pick. Mm-hmm. <sighs> we'll just pick Patrick Patterson. Okay. Um, Patrick Patterson is actually a really solid backup, like consistently a really solid backup. I like Patrick Patterson. Um, That's why I'm thinking, like, who isn't getting in the way? Of the grind. I, great, the, the, of the I, grit and grind era. So who who's really going to help that, like, who's going to facilitate that the most out of these four guys? And I'm like, Patrick stays on these teams. Like, he gets a contract extension. Sure. Why not? Yeah, I mean, like, Patrick Patterson is consistent. Like, you, you'll, you'll forget that Patrick Patterson is even, like, first of all, First of all, let's start at the, 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 the precipice of this. It's like, <laughs> Patrick Patterson is consistently getting a check, and you'd be like, when, he got drafted when? Huh. <laughs> huh. That's crazy. And you look at the teams he's played on, and you're like, really? Still, okay. To this day, like, this day, it's like he's, he was on the Clippers this season, still getting a check. Look. On the Clippers last season, he was on uh, the Thunder in 2017-18. He was on the Raptors uh, in the... Uh, he was a key part of that Raptors uh, pre-Kawhi era. Like, mm-hmm. it was all part of that. Like, he's... he's some, Somehow, some, he's, he went through Sacramento. Like, he's found a way to be a journeyman the correct way. He said, look, like, you don't need to start me, but what I can get you is about five or se- between five to ten points... I'll get you uh, about four rebounds. I'll be a nice hustle guy. I'll play some defense. I'll do everything you need. I'll stretch the floor if you need me to. Uh, like yeah, like I, I like Patrick Patterson um, at that at that number twelve position. Um, 
I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say about uh, Memphis Grizzlies pick. Um, I lost Zach there. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about the Patrick Patterson pick. Um, how do I, I keep losing my man Zach? You good, Zach? Nope. Yep. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Maybe. Okay. Oh, there we go. I think we got him back now. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm back. Cool. Um, let's get these last two picks out the way then. Um, okay, we've got the number 13th pick. I have no qualms about this. Uh, I have no problems taking Greg Monroe at this position. <laughs> um, Interesting. I thought about Lance Stevenson. Lance Stevenson is also a key pick. Uh, let's look at the Rocket. I mean, the Raptors from 2000 and. Nine. Uh, bu- 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 I know they still got a lot of barred minutes coming in. Uh, Chris Bosh would eventually go to South Beach. This was the last Chris Bosh season, 2010. Um, yeah. You've got Jose Calderon getting a lot of minutes. Uh, he was over. He was glue. Yeah. Hey, the Circle Glue was on the Raptors? I I, oh, I must have completely forgot about that as a thing. <laughs> he did Turkle was on the Raptors for it, it appears to be a single season. I was gonna say, because I don't remember him ever being like maybe my mind completely forgot about it. Cause like I remember him in Orlando and then being back in Orlando. Like I don't remember his Phoenix and Toronto trips. Like it was Get completely ready. white clean. <laughs> Get ready for word salad. So he signed as a free agent mm-hmm. in 2004 for the Magic, and he had that Magic run. Right. <laughs> After the finals on July 9th. Matter of fact, I remember that. As part of a four-team trade mm-hmm. traded by the Magic to the Raptors, the Dallas Mavericks trade Stackhouse mm-hmm. and Cash to the Grizz. The Mavericks trade Cash to the Magic. Yep. The Dallas Mavericks trade Devian George, Antoine Wright to the Raptors. The Grizzlies gave Craig Buckner to the Mavs. Yep. The Raptors gave Chris Humphreys, Nathan Jawai, Jawai, and, and Sean, Sean Marion. Mary. Yeah, he's probably, I, I, I remember Mavs. that. I remember that trade because, like, the only reason why I remember that was because I was like, oh, yeah, they were trying to get more shooting. And that's also how Sean Marion got out of Toronto into the Mavericks. That's the only reason why I looked like, as you started to say it, I was like, yes, I remember this trade now. Yes. Oh, so my God. the Raptors and Magic facilitate a very complex and, like, kind of via an aging Jerry Stackhouse direct trade. Because they were, they were trying to get uh, free agent money because they would eventually spend that money on Vince Carter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They would. Um... But uh, Sonny Williams minutes. You got Sonny. You got, you got Sonny Williams on this team, and Amir Johnson, a young Amir Johnson. Uh, with this 2011 team, well, you do have Amir Johnson, and you have Andrea Bargnani, uh, Reggie Evans. So you got your rebounding problem taken care of. Yeah. Uh, Alexis Ajinsa and Solomon Lobby. Uh, Ajinsa would have better days in New Orleans. Um, honestly, Greg Monroe could step in and probably be the best, the best available. I'm going to go with Greg Monroe. I thought about taking Lance. I really did. I'm still going to stick with the Greg Monroe pick. So you're playing Greg at the five? No, I'm playing him at the four. Reggie Evans is the backup and Andrea Ragnani still at the five. No defense okay. is going to be played, but at least we, at least both of my big men have a good enough post game to where we can essentially win 
five to ten more games than we probably would have if I had taken a Davis. You, you and, and uh, you know it's actually really funny. You keep talking about this. You want you know how the, the this incoming Raptors team got to a hundred points, right? Chris Bosh. Oh, they didn't. They oh, oh, the, oh, you talking about the 2010-2011 team? Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of Demar Derozan mid range shots. Uh, uh-huh. you had Andrea Bargnani, who was probably the leading scorer. Um, mm-hmm. he was the leading scorer. Actually, I'm actually looking at it now. Uh, yeah. Leandro Barbosa, the Brazilian Blur, and Jared Jack. Right. Enough to score 99.1 points. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel Not like Greg, Greg Monroe could probably give me 15 points a game, 16 points a game, without having to uh, come through an, on, on a minus of efficiency, on the same amount of shots that that Davis gave. You could even give him more shots. I feel like that was the good pick. I'm sticking by it. It's not a bad pick, honestly. He's gonna be if that's if it's that rate you're looking for. He's way more pro- productive offensively than a bunch of big men you have. So like, wow, yeah, yeah. Amir Johnson's yeah. not gonna give me that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, Reggie Evans can't do that. Yeah, I'm about to say he he can rebound and that's it. Right. He can rebound and slap ass. <laughs> slap ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on with the Rockets, the very last pick. All right. So we got Ed Davis and Lance Stevenson. Take Lance Stevenson and let's – like, in, <laughs> like Ed Davis is not the right pick here. Take Lance Stevenson and let's move on. And let's oh, yeah, talk about cool. why he's the the better pick. Okay, so I could close all that up. So it's Lance. <laughs> Bring okay. Lance down. <laughs> Bring Lance down. And – um. You know what? I don't understand why I close that out. I need this. I'm about to say, you still need the numbers. You still need your stats. I still need the number and the rock. Like, I need all of the stuff on Facebook. Hey, be like, hey, yo, you know, yeah, I got it. Uh, Let's close it out. No, you still need, you still, we need to talk about Lance. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rockets going into, into this draft, basically, like, coming out of it, they had become at the end of the line of a lot of resources. It's looking like. Uh, they were on the fifth. Uh, Ariza, um, Budinger on the bench. Chase Badier, Martin, <laughs> uh, McGrady, a uh, young Garrett Temple. Um, Who would eventually Aaron go to Brooks. Sacramento? Who would eventually go to Sacramento? Kyle Lowry <laughs> would stay there for a little longer before going to. With, did he go somewhere else before he went to the Raptors? Mm, I, I, yeah, I don't think so. I think it was a trade. Yeah, no, he was traded to the Raptors. No. Before that, yeah, before that was the Grizzlies. That's yeah. what I'm remembering. Um, they had a lot of stuff. You know, it's it's obvious the team was losing a lot of direction pre uh, uh, post Ming, and like they were gonna lose a lot more because uh, McGrady. McGrady left. Yeah. McGrady, McGrady, right. Well, McGrady would leave and he would go play in China. Uh, Yao Ming would uh, eventually retire after this season, um, the 2010-2011 yeah. season. Uh, Kevin Martin would come in. Um, trying to think on what else really happened during that time. Um, at this time, their pillars, like without even looking at the stats and just looking at the roster, I know they had a lot of Chris Haynes just K is like a round ish. Uh, they had Louis Scola like really anchoring them down. Uh, Shane Battier was doing a lot of off ball stuff. Courtney Lee, Chase Bood, um, Kevin Martin, Aaron Brooks, even for that like two or three season span. You, you're forgetting about their key all star, their key former all star, two time all star Brad Miller. <laughs> I was like. Who? Oh, Brad Miller! For, former two-time All-Star Brad Miller. Put some you, respect on his name. You mean future former uh, Bull Brad Miller? Future former. I mean, he started. He, he, he was already by that time former Bull. <laughs> and he was. Oh, oh yeah, he would actually go back to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> he was former future Bull. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. No, but with Lance here. Probably wasn't going to get... Or, you know, actually, he probably does get a lot of minutes at the small forward because of his athleticism. And that means that he gets one of the greatest 
defensive tutors you could imagine in the 21st century, Shane Battier. Yep. Except wow. he doesn't because... Oh, yes, he does. He gets him for a season because then he goes to Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe he's inspired by having an encounter. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to cut you off. He does get traded midseason. Shane Battier get traded, gets traded midseason to Memphis. Cause I, like, I feel like I remember seeing this when we were when I was looking at one of the teams, and yes, he does get traded midseason to Memphis. Uh, who did he get traded for? For Ish, uh, he got traded with Ish Smith for Damari Carroll, Hashim Tveit, and the 2013 first round draft pick that eventually be, that eventually was Andre Roberson, which means that that was a key piece to the James Harden trade. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Yes, if that. <laughs> um, Jeez. Yeah, like that's. You know what you're gonna get with Lance Stevenson, though. Like at the end of the day, you know exactly what you're getting with Lance Stevenson. It's hard to quantify because this ro- these Rockets teams were in such disarray and they didn't do a lot. And like this was when James just came over. Like this was when he was coming over, and those first two years in Houston, like he was cool, he was great, he was really good. Yeah, team looked like shit. Team looked terrible. Terrible. Team didn't look good. And I, and and what I find interesting about it in retrospect is that at the time people weren't really blaming him. I think a lot of the blame was still on Presti and management for not just put keeping them together, and like that's all anybody's focus was on. Right. Um, the but, thing uh, I got, the thing yeah. got really good really quickly. Because they were not in this lottery at all. No. Um, they actually were They were the eighth seed, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the season before. Um, but this was kind of like a really, like, as far as, like, the big names, it was a pretty straightforward draft. Um, the only player who didn't get drafted on our big board was Ed Davis. Um, and the reason why is just because at the end of the day, there were a lot of fours and he just happened to be the worst four, even though he's still in the league, still with the Pelicans, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but unlike the, uh, 2011 draft, which had a lot of hitting, like they, it had a lot of solid plays that are still contributing minutes to this day. The, the Davis, 20- uh, Davis on Timberwolves now. Ah, in Minnesota. <laughs> um, yes. uh, unlike the 2011 draft, this 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 draft was really a, a like in retrospect even a 14 15 player draft, um, and then it's like a, a extreme drop off after that. Um, like I said, La- even Larry, like even you you could justify putting Ed Sanders over Larry Sanders, Ed Davis over Larry, Sa- Larry Sanders, but Larry Sanders. As a shot blocker, was so much better than uh, most of the big men on the on the roster left. Like I, I couldn't justify it. Uh, Lance, even even though he's not technically in the league, he's still he's still better than Ed Davis. He and, could play at the level. Like I think I think you'd have a hard time convincing someone who's seen both of them play like that. Lance would contribute less than Ed. Side note. Uh, Hassan Whiteside didn't go to Texas. Dexter Pittman went to Texas. And I mentally, <laughs> I mentally, I legitimately, for whatever reason, swapped them in my head, Dexter Pittman and, and, and Hassan Whiteside, because they were also taken back to back. But I do remember Dexter Pittman being the big man for Avery Bradley now that I'm thinking about it. I just, uh, <laughs> I had a mental part. And that's okay. okay. <laughs> I can edit that out. <laughs> it's gonna, not gonna make the edit right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. This is our this is our 2010 redraft, our lottery redraft. Um, let me fix Patrick Patterson. Patrick Patterson looking like uh, somebody's 90s sitcom dad. Uh, your top 14, your lottery is Paul George, Gordon Hayward, John Wall, Demarcus Cousins, Derek Favors, Evan Turner, Eric Bledsoe. Alfred Camino, Avery Bradley, Hassan Whiteside, Gary, I mean, not Gary, Larry, Larry Sanders, uh, Patrick Patterson, Greg Monroe, and Lance Samantha Vance, Lance Stevenson. 
Uh, yes, this is our, our list. We've got more redrafts coming. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon. Join the Penny Face Squad. Where can they follow you at, Zach? They can follow me, follow me on my Twitter at Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y-M-A-H-A-B-I-R. That's Zachary Mahabir on Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter, you can find wrestling takes and basketball takes. And on Instagram, I will ignore any DMs. That is an invasion of my privacy. <laughs> and that's it. That's basically it. Um, yeah, check out the streams uh, whenever until September 10th. Then September 10th, you'll get 2K21 streams. You'll get uh, uh, whatever else I happen to be playing at the time. But uh, until then, you just, just stream whenever I feel like streaming. That's basically how we're feeling. Uh, this video will probably go up soon i don't i don't i don't even know i haven't even, i haven't even started that in the 2011 draft yet but uh it's going <laughs> up soon um and with that being said i'll catch you guys all in the next one and thanks for watching i'll see you and win forever <laughs>